Good morning. Welcome, 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 welcome. Vash raided my stream with six viewers. Holy shit. Who's there? It's Vash Aiden did. Welcome in. Thanks so much for raid. I saw you in, uh... I was lurking in, uh... What's her name's channel? She's like, uh... She's got, like, white hair... Female creator. I can't remember what game she was in. She came up on my recommendations. And I saw your name. I was like, oh my god. I know that name. <laughs> now I can't remember what her name was as a content creator, but... Yeah, I popped in. I wonder if it's back on my recommendations. Yeah, I had a good one, dude. I've been, uh, I was off, uh, Sunday and Monday to do things around the house. Appreciate that raid, sir. Also, welcome in, guys. Sideways, Sunrise, Danister, Devs. Good day, good day, good day. Free 20 free patch. Hype for 100%? Nice. Yeah, Vulcan is in there, chat. I, I heard that it breaks a lot of, um, like, the UI and, and stuff like that, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll deal with it. It is, yeah, but I took uh, Sunday and Monday off to do stuff around the house since there wasn't a patch sideways. And I might be off Saturday and Sunday this weekend because... The weather forecast is looking good for Operation Camping with Nova. And I would like to get that done before the hot weather comes in. <gasps> Brace for Vulcan Tuesday! Yeah, we're gonna check it out. Like, I've pretty much got uh, Free22 uninstalled now. I did my last, like, low-flying sesh on that with Smashly. I think it was on Saturday night. We just steamrolling now for free, Tway Free? However, I, I got something for you guys, right? Listen to this. Right, I'm, I'm gonna let you guys hear it first, right?
It's not bad, it's not bad. I was playing around with it. Playing around with it. Got a fucking kick-ass beat. Looks like they might be able to get some of the hangar cargo stuff in too, at least for free 23. Yeah, 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 yeah. We knew all that stuff was coming in. Yo, Fledger. Is Overdrive on hold now till 323? Uh, well, you will get Xenofret in 323. You won't get Overdrive. Overdrive is finishing before 323. And CIG now said you have to complete Xenofret to get that stuff. Six phases, right? No, it's only five phases and then it's Xenofret. It's like a couple of phases for Xenofret, but it's all back to back apparently. Apparently. Yeah, Xenofret is basically when 323 comes out, we got Xenofret. And all that jazz. And then apparently once you've done Xenofret, you'll get the upgrade. But I would imagine there's like full blown uh, issues and all that jazz, right? Yeah, it's very true, Fledger. I I can't I'm the same fresh. How you doing, Chief? It's gonna be a big disaster. But we're gonna have we're uh we're gonna take Elliot hostage. Until he gives us the F8 or the F7A. CIG are most likely going to sell it anyway. Hey Glitch, good morning to you. CIG will most likely do that. Ah, look, that's a door. Man, I'm sneezy as fuck, like. Woo! ATF, welcome in, dude. Oh, give me a second, chat. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hopefully the light system works today. It does, which means good morning, good afternoon, good e e evening, all that jazz. You know the score. We know the score, chat. It's the 16th. Uh, yeah, so normally I'm not on on a Tuesday, but we took Sunday and Monday off uh, to do stuff around the house. Possibly Saturday, Sunday away as well, or Sunday, Monday again, uh, purely because the weather, we're going to get like a heat wave here, and it would be like a perfect time to let the, the ground dry and then uh, get Nova out for his camping trip before 323 goes live. So, especially as I don't think CIG will drop a, a patch over the weekend, so. 
That's just to get, let you guys up know. It'll be probably like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday streams, Sunday, Monday off, back on Tuesday kind of jazz. And then obviously we'll get back into the normal routine. And all that stuff. I hope you're all well. Oh, look, right, Dennister. Dennister rigging it again. Right, now I need to remember the commands, right? No, not that. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Louis Cheeky, there we go. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm quite sniffly today, which is a bit annoying. Also, videos are like down. There's not enough complaining, chat. I need, I need more complaints. I need people to be like, ah, right, you know what? I might need to just quickly just tune into Spectrum. Spectrum's got to have some juice, right? Let's go to it. Everyone likes to post in general instead of feedback. Mm, mm, mm. All right. Let's have a look. What do we have over here? They wouldn't sell it. They will. Oh, you guys can't see. Because you need to have the projection. That's why. There we go. What I think MM, MML will, Master Modes will fix. Let's have a look. I'm a backer since 2013 and I've spent a good amount of time in Star Season so far. What organization? 501st UE Marine Corps? Right. Space Dad. Trying to learn flying in AC since day one and enjoying the iconic tutorial back in the days. <laughs> what? Also, Wing Commander, yeah. Then we had Insta Shield Recharge. Jousting was king because you would soon boom and zoom and be untouchable. Simple macros made you aces of aces. All right. Later! All right, all right. So it's like a fucking history. Here we go. Later, the high-speed combat evolved into tricording. I hate to tell you, but we had tricording for nearly seven years. It's just people finally found out about it. Barrel rolling. <laughs> barrel rolling. He means fucking corkscrew, because barrel rolling doesn't throw off the pip. Strafing, pip wiggling, etc. Whilst this could be macroed. Okay. It was enough to press a few buttons at once. My org did through testing, training, and easy to learn about these meta dogfighting. Who? 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 Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this, this is a one man org? 112 people. There's no names I recognize there. So it's somebody that definitely has been in like offline AC or something. From my experience, it boils down to the simple fact that these maneuvers are more exploiting the I hate to tell you, dude, a barrel roll is a legit form of aviation. <laughs> That's not an exploit. <laughs> That's just aviation. <laughs> the corkscrew is what fucking caused the issues. Uh, game engine shortcoming and being an ace pilot. Well, that's also down to CIG to face. Your shots would miss at 200 plus meters, even if you had crosshair on the screen, on the pip in the green. The aim assist was supposed to make your shots hit. But, at, at 200 meters? Who the fuck misses their shots at 200 meters, Fresh? You know? I don't think I've ever missed a shot at 200 meters in the history of this game. I don't think it has anything to do with serv- I don't think it has anything to do with server performance, but with Star Engine's ability to keep track of projectiles at high speed. That would make it the server's problem. Because if it's in, if you're just talking about the engine, it will perfectly do it, no matter what speed. It's always down to a netcoding and a server performance issue with Star Citizen. 
if you play in offline mode or aka CIG's office, you have no issues whatsoever. Master mode slows down combat, so aim assist. No, aim assist is overtuned to fuck. And the weapons are so fast now that they actually hit. Yeah, this is definitely somebody that does not understand this video game. This is taken from 323 patch notes. I like to think my, my proofs, my point. As a button, you can disable all aim assist and your gun system for you. It's not aiming to build an artificial skill ceiling, but to fix. Oh, God. Ah, uh, jeez, uh, this dude's gonna get 360'd so fucking hard by an F8 with mass drivers. Ah, uh, jeez. Sorry, you are not listed in the leaderboards. Are you playing the game at all? One minute, one minute, one minute. <sighs> all right. The dude went there. We're going there as well. Where is it here? Oh, jeez. Right. Since they went there, we can go there, right? Where is it here? Somewhere in this monstrosity of lagged out fucking website. I swear, this website does not like Firefox. Uh, community leaderboards. All right, chat. We're about to see a pro. Uh, where's the search feature? Uh, here. Uh, let's do squadron battle because we can only do that, right? Find a player. There we go. Stop! Sorry, you are. <laughs> You're not listed in the leaderboards. Are you playing the game at all? Go to an older patch. All right, all right. We need to go further back. We're going back. 320 chat. Free, free 19. Pre 18. Ali, this is a wreck pigeon. <laughs> How many years is that, Fresh? When we go back to free 17, that's like at least a year, right? 316? Well, that's 321. Oh, it's not 321. That's uh, 2021. Right? Not 316. Not a single fight. Oh, no, the data's gone because obviously we didn't have this then. All right. Uh, let's go back to 3.0 testing. Wait. Oof. Oof. All right, um, two six two alpha. Go to dual mode. All right, all right. Last chance, go to dual mode. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Because right. unfortunately, we can't check out BR, right? Because it's been abolished. Let's do 322. Let's see, let's see. This fresh, look at fresh. Look at that fucking try hard in free twenty twenty one. Tosin as well. Look at him. A red pigeon is there among us. Alright. Let's see. Who who is it on top in here? Ah, oh, fresh fell off. Look at that. Among Us is still there. Fresh disappeared. That wolf guy pushed up pretty hard, actually. That's crazy. Right, anyway. 
you know are you playing the game at all uh i, I really want to reply i really want to oh yeah shit fresh fresh is right it could be pirate swarm let's have a look let's go to pirate swarm oh no oh wait i need to keep that thread there we need this Try hard mode? No, 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 no. We're somebody is talking shit. Um on the we're we're gonna yeah, Vandal Swarm. Gotta be Vandal Swarm, right? It's gonna be the top player of Vandal Swarm. <laughs> Maybe Pirate Swarm. Pirate Swarm. Pirate Swarm. <sighs> shit. Um, let's do, uh, Murray Cup. Murray Cup. Ah. We tried, we tried. Hey, Matrix Gears, how you doing, dude? Zayman as well. Seriously. Yeah, so, this guy is talking smack to somebody. Are you playing the game at all? And it looks like this person, who's also talking a load of nonsense, also doesn't play the game. Uh... He will reply, I'm hiding my leaderboard. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's free flight. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Yeah. This dude is not even on the leaderboard either, so... You know what I mean? That's fair. I hide my leaderboard stats. I don't want to be on the leaderboard. I've hidden it from very, like, day one and stuff. I, I just don't like that shit. When, if it was like, a, I will unhide my stuff when the game is out. But for, like, a test game, I've got no interest in somebody fucking comparing stats, like... Some days are good, some days are bad. Hardcore becomes too hardcore. I guess it was too hardcore for Spectrum. Uh, feels terrible. Right! Let's go to the feedback area, which is where people are meant to post. A working Scorpius turret would be fun. A working UI would also be ton fun. No vector indicator. Yeah, it's called bugs, guys. We don't need feedback on bugs, right? I, again, it's your, it's your council, guys. It's your council for that shit. Bring back cruise control. I hate to tell you guys, it's, it's in the game. All you have to do is press... Or keybind change, that's it. It's not really difficult to work it out. Alright. Again, that's uh, people not willing to actually just test out a button, that's okay. They're probably with landing gear down. You know, that's it. They've got landing gear down, because you can't cruise control with landing gear down. There's another pointer if you want to learn how to play Star Citizen. G say free 23. Is this because you can't disable it? Yeah, obviously, uh, Jora? Jora! See this? See this shit? This is getting removed from the game. It doesn't work in the game because it's been disabled already. See this? Because every time you get into a ship, you're going to have to key bind your couples, your ESPs, your, your settings and stuff like that. So there's no point complaining about this shit. It's already getting changed for the future. CitizenCon may have helped you with that one to understand that. All right. Yeah, all you have to do is press a button to turn G-safe off. It's not very difficult, you know? Have a macro to put your safety things through. Difference between G-safe's active... <laughs> Just... It, it's, it's old UI, guys. Like, CIG are literally updating the UI. This is where you really gotta let go of this shit, right? This is so irrelevant. Like, CRG are literally getting rid of legacy UI and putting the new stuff in, and if you actually watch CitizenCon with the new UI, you would see all these things. Uh, again, this, this stuff's not difficult. Why aren't weapon sites in the loot table? Uh, 
I haven't seen the sight in bunkers or loots. Not bench go. Hmm. Not sure if that would be actually anything worthwhile. Cause can't you get every thing inside? So look here. FPS auto swap is still a thing. It needs to swap. Stop. Sorry. What's auto swap? What are you talking about? Oh yeah, yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They should, have, they should have that disabled. Yeah, I, I agree on that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like that. Yeah, yeah. You medipen yourself, and then you get your primary weapon back. Yeah. The weird thing is though, the keybinds say uh, to use your sidearm, and it pulls out your primary weapon. So I would just probably just goof right now. Training wheels. Oh, I like this one. So this is the Pirate Gresser, uh, Eagle River Syndicate. I can't help but think the landing gear restriction to stop players crashing into the hangar is somewhat... Dude, we had this in pre-mode years ago. When people are learning to fly. No, it's a good thing. Because eventually down the line you're going to have 50 people flying around inside a hangar area and stuff. The last thing we need is people crashing and stuff like that. You should just use your landing gear when you're about to actually land at the last second. You know? It sounds like you need the training wheels, basically. Because you're turning on the landing gear before you even get into your hangar. Right? We need to help people get better and rid of their training wheels rather than- No, 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 no. It's a load of shit. If anybody can't see the reason why CIG are slowing you down with landing gears, you have no fucking idea. You can still boost over the speed limit even- Exactly, exactly. People are just looking at it where they only see one or two people going into a hangar and stuff like that, and they think, oh no, we don't need this, right? But you've got to remember, eventually down the line, this game could have like 50 people trying to land in hangars at once, and you want people kiting around at full speed? Yeah. Once you start getting rammed by random people, you know, let's see what fucking you put on the spectrum on that one. People's future, like, sight is so dreadful at times. They're like, oh my god, this affects my fucking game right now. It's like, yeah, but they're building things for the future of the game. You have to understand that. Captain Kilgore says, Maneuvering thrusters have an absurd amount of power. No more of that. Hmm, I would actually agree with that. Like, maneuvering thrusters have way too much power, I feel, sometimes. If they had after with afterburn, then that's fine, but... Yeah. Uh, junk crew at the moment, the game maneuvering thrusters have like an observer. Uh, yep. And this changes in that free free tiny maneuvering thrusters. Yeah, but Colson also left the game or quit the company. So, yeah, we don't really have anyone in the fucking helm of physics right now. Why does ships and master modes and current flight more first time map? Blah, blah, blah. Retune the flight model with that. You can't. Retune a flight model, guys. Like, doing a flight model takes years to do an IFCS. And we don't have anyone in the company that can really afford to do an IFCS. So, you can tweak the thrusters slightly and stuff like that to what he's asking. But again, most of the issues is we just actually need a new flight system to be created. But that would take two or three years. You you to lower the strafe acceleration? I would actually agree with this, yeah. But then we need to have SEM top speed go up. So, say right now you do 225 with SEM, I would want to do 350, 400. And then you could lower the accelerations down more and stuff. That would work. But you need to give people more power in certain areas if you're going to do stuff. It's the same with like trying to balance mass drivers. Like, I'm totally fine with mass drivers doing so much damage, but they need to be where the charge goes up, for example. If you guys don't know, in 323 now, when you pull the trigger, it charges the mass driver, and then it fires, right? It's cool. It's like a Idris railgun, basically. The problem is it's just such a cool short cooldown that... Uh, you either nerf the damage and leave the, the charge timer, 
or you double the charge timer and leave the damage. I would prefer double the charge time personally and leave the damage because, again, whilst you're charging and trying to keep aim and stuff like that, you can easily miss your shot. I would prefer that. There's actually not that many crying threads here, which is quite nice to see. Uh, let's see. Weapon rangers and close combat. Uh, from playing... I love how these guys can post, and every time I post something, it tells me no. Uh, Antifighter weapons and good spread. Slightly increased range. Antifighter weapons, increased range. Greatly increased spread. I would agree with that. Anti-material weapons, medium increase range, remove aim assist. Well, to be fair, none of the anti-material weapons that we have have aim assist. The Inferno and Iron are the only confirmed anti-material weapons in the game, and they don't have assist. They've got a little bit of fixed assist, but they don't have any aim assist. And specialized weapon mass drivers greatly increase range, remove aim assist, remove pip, add charge mechanic. Was this posted? Two days ago. I wonder if it's still the same, because the latest patch sort of... Yeah, I'm not sure on that one, to be fair. Two major concerns. Hi, Dean Amp, if I missed anyone. There is a big lot of feedback under the official feedback spread. Yeah, I know, but I like to see people's personal crying. It's more enjoyable. Uh, I want to start by saying I'm more well supportive of the changes to mass mode, and I'm confident. Blah, 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 blah. First SCM tonight, right now, it's impossible to... Right now, it's nearly impossible to use it to escape combat in a slow combat ship. You're not meant to escape combat. You're meant to plan your route better so you don't actually go into combat. That's pretty much it, you know? When I jump into the boxing ring, I don't go, oh shit, maybe I'll just pull myself out, right? You gotta sort of figure that one out at the time, you know? This is a big blah. Pilot auto gimbals. While these don't seem to be a lot of To be honest, like, using the gimbal system is, like, if you're up against somebody that knows what they're doing, you're pretty fucked, to be honest. Like, you get absolutely smashed. Hmm. A lot of miners are complaining about how the scanning has changed and they need to keep switching mode to move, then scan, then move. Boo-hoo. Again, like, 323 is not, like, a finalized patch. It's basically getting rid of all the old stuff that needs to be replaced and bringing in the new stuff, which needs tweaking to do. It's never going to be, you know... What? Instead of single missile operator mode toggle key binding, can we also have explicit on and off binding for enabling? You've got that. Switch operator mode. Just go through the operator mode. If you do next, and you can literally go from guns, press next to missiles, and then press back to go to guns. I have a flip trigger on my. I would love to use for enable disable missile operator mail by flipping down and back up. Down registers as one button and flipping up another. Yeah, you just do what I just said. Swap between. That's what I've got right now. It's not about verbal software worker and the game needs to have two additional. It does, dude. It doesn't need to have extra missile operator mode. Just have it where you swap it through. I mean, it would be kind of cool, yeah, but. 
More keybinds. More keybinds, chat! Everyone needs more keybinds, apparently. Alright, let's launch the game. Everybody needs keybinds. But you can do what that person was asking by just using operator mode next and operator mode back. I'm gonna see if uh, reshade on Vulcan doesn't work, by the way, because CIG haven't enabled it in uh, Easy Cheat, which is interesting that they chose to do that. Why would they do that, guys? Why? Why would CIG do it? Ugh. Let's move the dust here. Mm -hmm. But yeah, a lot more people will cry throughout the uh, coming weeks and stuff like that. It's inevitable. Uh, people just don't like change, and I understand that. Oh, look at that Vulcan. Oh my god, Vulcan. Urgh. When they when when they dial this in, it's gonna look so good. The UI is meant to be kind of scuffy with it though and stuff, so we're gonna do a bit of testing with Vulcan. I set up uh I set it up in the verbal software for flipping down switches to missiles and then back up to guns. I know. Imagine. Imagine if you just spent more than five seconds of typing and just worked out how to do it in the software, right? Oh my god, I'm Vulcaned out of my mind. Did you see that CIG have moved the uh, F over the open area now? This was one of my suggestions, chat, to put it in the center instead of above things. I don't think CIG actually, see like this one needs to be done, but the rest of them, you need to bring it down to where like call elevator, the F is here basically. Because if you've got it where it says call elevator, like above, just make it where it's there and then it disappears when you press it. It's so good if they did that. Do, 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 do. But yeah, UIs are super screwed. However, it is feeling... Oh yeah, shit, I forgot we have to do this now, right? So, R underscore dis tab free. There we go. Do 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 Because the server FPS is still super jank. It's like free, five, all that stuff. We won't really get it any better, but... The stuttering has seemed to have gone, which is really nice. Graphics renderer, Vulcan. It's in the game. Yeah, only the Wave 1 subs have access to those a little more hardcore. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. What do you mean hardcore? Agreeing with the poster, there should be a single button. To, the following location. to select mode and exact. Well, again. You can literally just do this, right? So you can have a button to do, like, you could have it where your pull button is next, and when you push it back, it returns there. So you've already got the option to do it, Pox. Right? But then, you know what's gonna happen? Miss Operator Mode will have on and off, Quantum System on and off, Scanning Mode on and off, Salvage on and off. You know what I mean? This little page here will soon be down to like here With all these operator modes because CIG plan to add in an operator mode for everything Because that's the way they're going so You know what I mean like 
I get it, I get it. People want, like, versatility to customize their buttons to how they want, but... Eventually, there might be too many buttons. We don't know. See, what I don't get with this is why does it need to say Gladius Pirate and then Gladius Pirate underneath and that disappears? I don't know why it needs the second part until, like... Your eye of the hanger. <laughs> However, nice FPS though. Let me just clear this up. The problem is we're gonna have the shittest UI experience right now. Oh, that's a bit of a delay there. Look at that UI. Until you strafe up, it's literally down below. You know what I mean, right? Hear me out, chat. If the Gladius was actually like this with the new stuff, it's gonna look so good. Because obviously, you've got it all broken down here. So when I strafe up, for example, it'll bounce back up, right? Because it's totally scuffed. Totally scuffered. However, interesting that it kept in the uh, same model and stuff. I wish you wouldn't say shields down though, because like, I'm in a fucking different mode, you know. Thank you. Brum 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 brum. Yeah, UI is flickering like crazy. I think I've heard that this is just because of Vulcan though. I'm interested to see if we actually, uh, randomly explode to Daymar. Oh, so they changed icons as well, chat. They've, uh... Yeah, they've added in where, like, the OMs and stuff. However, the, like, the location for, like, major cities and stuff is still the same. Which, I think CIG should definitely make a new icon for, like, you're going to Orison and stuff like that. What the hell is that? What do you mean, Puppeteer? Oh yeah, there's Vulcan having a little bit of a heart attack. Ooh, that looked good. Whilst it was rendering in. That was looking rather good. It's just broken for Vulcan, Puppeteer. I'm on the Vulcan renderer, and it's just broken just now. It's in the, the notes about it. Server delaying? Yeah, server delaying. Vulcan is a, a GPU graphical API thing. Just let you do cooler shit. Better than directs like 9, 10, 11, and 12. Uh, right now it, fi it fucks the UI. So I wouldn't bother, but again, I'm just wanting to see what it's like, so... My only concern with like when you go in to this mode is that you see... The root. I need to try and speak to fucking Yogi about it, because it's like... This green line is really fucking annoying, and it, it goes away there, right? DLS works with Vulcan? Uh, I, again, guys, I, I don't know. I don't know, that's what we're testing. However, look at the fucking... I think they've done better job on the f uh, reverse uh, engines, right? With the rubbling. The sort of look on the side. That does look good. Yeah, see the green line appears, which I just don't agree with. For it. You know? Boom. Oh man, 
Holy shit, the loading is so much better. God damn! Boom, 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 boom. It does look cool. I do like the rumbling. CIG have done a good job on it. The problem is the, the UI is just scuffed. We don't have TVI as well, so I'm having to sort of free dick it just now. That's cool. Again, if CIG can just fix mass drivers for damage, I love how you've got to charge them up and fire them now. That's pretty solid. Again, just take away the UI. This could be suicide. This could be suicide chat. Oh no, she is gonna do it. Hard to tell without a TVI, like for doing certain things. No, it's just broken just now. It's just broken. I love the UI is broken, so it'll be it'll be fixed before live. Don't worry about it, guys. The UI has a lot of work to be done as well, because it's bugging up. Uh, you can see it flickering for, uh... Man, Gladius feels so good in atmosphere. For what it used to be. Oh yeah, we need to crack this fucking sound up, chat. Where is it here? Have I got it at max volume? Yeah, I do. I think they've maybe toned it down a bit. They've toned it down, I think. It is nailer, it's good, eh? Hey Danny, welcome, welcome, welcome. Again, I've got the afterburner rumble, so it rumbles more when you afterburner, but I like the vibe of it, basically. It makes it more cinematic for me. Without TVI, some of these moves are going to be a bit too freaky. Hopefully they've got a patch coming out this week that fixes TVI and the stuttering of the UI. I can put it back off Vulcan and I think it's a little bit more stable. But Vulcan's looking good, like... Also feels really nice, like we're, we're a bit low in the FPS, but... What I could try and do... Is, uh, disable... DOS and just crank up to full fucking. Wait, it can't go higher than that. Yeah, I can't do that, can I? I wonder if maybe we should try this on high. This on high now. Let's try it. So that puts up to. It's using a bit more GPU, but it's running about the same FPS. The next update, nice, yeah. That's good. Yeah, because I know they were working on it. I was speaking to Winter about it. Which was good. really push the boundaries because we've oh what the fuck also we just died in the cockpit
I died in the cockpit chat. I had a heart attack. I think that's still the servers like fucking up, right? I I do recall people saying that they're they're just randomly dying and stuff, so Yeah, well the glad uh QIV seems to be like it's got new sounds, new new things and stuff. So I think it's the like tester base and stuff. You G'd your spleen out of your ass. That would be kind of cool if it was actually in the game, but I think we still got the server issue where you're randomly just dying, basically. Also, have you noticed that there's no more death markers, which is interesting. Oh my god. Wait. Does my beard change color? My beard may have changed color, chap, from from fright. All right, here. Again, I'm not gonna moan about these random explosion things because the servers and stuff like that are very jittery and stuff. Just for men. Yeah, am I? Red and white hat and glasses. Could you please contact the front desk to let us know? Oh yeah, yeah. Them? Thanks. Oh no, it is. It's just. I think it's just the light. No, oh, no, it has changed color. Apparently, somebody died. Died my face. Whilst that happened. Man, Vulcan just looks so much better. Right, we're gonna do a little comparison Welcome. here, okay? Hey, Let me just quickly claim this. Alright. And we're gonna stand... We need to have the same thing, so we're gonna stand here. Actually, I wanna look... Yeah, 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 this is it here. We're gonna stand here. I'm going to look as center as I can, and we're going to screenshot it. And then we're going to turn off Vulcan. And we got to fucking quit the game down. Because, well, I actually don't know any game that can change the fucking API on the fly. I don't think that's actually possible, is it? I think when you change from directs on any game, it shuts it down. All right, let's load it back up. Get your, get your layers out, chat. I don't even know if I have a lighter anymore. Yeah. Sue the hospital. Don't worry, we're about to have cosmetic surgery again. Spike, how you doing? I don't like the no death markers. Hopefully they bring again. It's most likely because you don't have the ability to make them disappear sideways. So it could be where they're just going to add stuff to that. Oh, I am also not going to be able to activate reshade because I have it installed to Vulcan, which hopefully they'll get in beforehand. Like if they can sort out Vulcan and stuff. Where war planes don't even shake in IL-2? Dude, y you do know that in any fighter across the history of time, you shake inside the cockpit, right? So you say it's gimmicky, but it happens in every fighter. IL-2 just doesn't have it because when IL-2 came out, it didn't have the technology. Just wanted to point that one out. Do 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 do. Right, so we're on Drex 11. Yep, Drex 11 there. Right, let's go to the exact same location and see what a comparison's like. Not a fan in space? Well. Again, CIG can't separate the two systems, so you've got only got one IFCS in this game. So if you want it shaking in atmosphere and not in space, which I would be totally cool with, sadly you're gonna have to make CIG build a new IFCS for that. Which will take three or four years, so either get on with the shake, or come back in three or four years. You know. 
Gotta understand the limitations of the actual game, chat. Mark 2 in my Fleet Friday, what a fun weekend I'm having. I've yet, I don't think I've flown the Mark 2 that much in 323. I'll need to have a wee show of it. More. I remember going into Atmosphere and it felt really good. But yeah, if you guys don't like the camera shake, just turn it off, guys. You've got the ability to turn it off. Do -do -do, do -do -do. There we go. All the shakes make feel everything. I, I love it. I'm person. Oh shit, we're fucking. Wait, wait, wait. Am I gonna go hell mode? How the fuck am I dying in here? Uh oh. We might be in a Narnia lift. The mini map is also gone. Help! Help! I need an adult. Oh yeah, this, this fucking lift is... This lift is definitely fucking narnia -ed. But only when an M engine is damaged, dude? Again, go into a Spitfire, go into a fucking Mustang, go into any fighter that we've had in the past 60-70 years. You shake inside these cockpits. It isn't fucking stationary. Your head doesn't perfectly stay like that. There is shake. Especially when using an afterburner. You don't just sit there going, hmm. There's constant effect. But comparing IL-2, which is a good simulator, but it's not a realistic simulator. It doesn't have any forms of realism, because when it first came out, there was none of these to do into games. As you know, I played a shit ton of IL-2. It has basic features. You want to see what it's like? Go and play DCS World, the IL-2 stuff. DCS World with the IL-2 planes? Yeah. You'll get no better experience. IL-2 is so primitive in, in comparison to games these days. It was good at its time, but it's now just absolute shitter. I always have a lighter, never know when to burn things. I, I think I have a lighter around here. Somewhere. I need to get like a fancy one of these flame torch ones. Do 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 Alright. This actually feels a little bit better than the last server, funnily enough. However, everything's a little bit blurry. It's like my character's stuck in a fucking Trank to loop, basically. Oh no, my mouse is gone as well. Alright, we'll take the screenshot and then I've got to fucking close. Ooh, this server's hiking up. This American server is not happy. Uh. Oh yeah, you can already see quite a bit. I'm gonna let it like, light up and render. Oh yeah, my character is not happy. My BPM is going up like crazy. Shit. Am I about to die? Oh wait, hopefully this bug's not back. Shit! I'm having a fucking heart attack, chat. Oh god, I am actually about to have a heart attack. Oh no, please don't tell me this bug is returned to Star Citizen. Dude, I, I have. I'm, I'm about to fucking. Dude, 170 fucking 6 BPM. Oh god, we're done. Chat, we're, I can't run. That's it. Quickly. <laughs> I need heart surgery. The pacemaker's about to explode. Holy fuck. Vic, man. 
180! Oh god. It's 180 and I'm not even moving. Room 6. Oh shit. Help me, doctor! Where is, where is it here? 1 to 4. Oh god. We're not gonna make it, chat. 184. My breathing's going up. Maybe if I take my helmet off, I'll get some air. Room six. Where's room six? Is this it? Room six? Come in. Heart attack. Heart attack coming. I wonder if this fixes me. Interesting if I actually have heart issues. Help me. Oh, my BPM is actually recovering. No fucking way. Wait. Did I actually have something wrong with the heart? Or is it just a bug? Yeah, I'm actually fixed. Oh yeah, I forgot to dye my beard again. It's a bad clone? Holy shit! Yeah. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's a bug, but yeah, I'm fixed. I can run around and I'm, my BPM's not going up. That's crazy! I, I, I generally don't know if it's a feature or a bug. Look, I'm jumping around all the place, no problem. That's crazy! Alright, let's have a look. Let's see if there's any, like, subtle changes. I doubt there is subtle changes. Compared to Vulcan. So let's do Vulcan first. Nah, even with the subtle changes, it's not. That's cool. So they don't push anything higher when you go into Vulcan. Cool. Good stuff. Let's see if it sorts the UI. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. I remember when there was no atmosphere. Do you guys remember when you used to have a heart attack for no reason in this game? Vehicle select your it was funny as hell. Watching Detox's stream where his character would be walking down an 890 and he would just have a heart attack. You would get super angry as well. <laughs> Alright. I should have redone. Yeah, actually. Let's quickly do... Uh, reshade changes. I want to see if uh, the Vulcan stuff is actually fucking with it. Come on, quit game. Uh, da -da -da. Uh, up in there, next, uh, directs 12, next, uh, yep, finish, alright. I'll just close this down just in case this actually affects that. Uh, so sideways, the bug was you used to, your when, say for example, you were sprinting around and your heart rate goes up, it wouldn't go down. So people would literally just die in the game for, they were running around places anywhere and they would just fall down and die. Every character had a weak heart and that was what the bug was. That's why I thought it was there. Like it wasn't releasing, but then when we got medical attention, it fixed it. So I don't know. Uh, the problem is, I had a small HP loss. There's a good chance that maybe I had damage to the heart. I don't know the, the mechanics of it. Oh yeah, so it is working. So CIG need to just add reshade to Vulcan to be allowed. Maybe we'll get that later on in a couple of weeks. But yeah, reshade is not working for Vulcan, even though you can install Vulcan and stuff like that. That'll piss a lot of people off if they disable reshade for uh, 323 if you're using Vulcan. Because also ping doesn't show you the ground anymore, which is very sus CIG. Very- 
Very sus that, uh, yeah, you've uh, disabled the ping ground effect. Possibly that's going to be your new night vision view, is it? Where it's permanently on? Wonder who fucking gave that idea. Uh, right, how do I get into reshade again? Press home. Oh, I actually need to set up the buns again. Uh, skip the tutorial. We're wanting to go into. Oh, wait, do I not have. Oh. Do you not have my files? Is that what we're doing? It's been a while since I've actually uninstalled uh, Reshade. No, we do have it there. Interesting. Do, 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 do. All right, let me see where this goes. Add a new preset. Interesting. Why is this not working now? Ah, no. Oh yeah, this is literally not going through anything. Hmm. Poopy. Uh right, I got an idea. Do 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 reshade, 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 get rid of that. Um, I may need to go to Star Citizen Live. We need them. See if this fixes it. Oh, why you got both of those? The root folder, where default preset is. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I have never run into this with uh, Reshade. I've always just like uninstalled and updated it and then put my files back in and it just works, so. Oh yeah, it's doing it now. Yeah, it's working now. Control L home. Yeah, yeah, it's working now. Oxygen. Mm -hmm. All right, so we should be able to know. Yeah, there we go. There we go, fixed. I'm a genius! Alright, let's see if the UI is scuffed. The UI is scuffed. Yeah, it is, yeah. I can showcase it for you, dude. Hey, Dumbo. How you doing, dude? Welcome back. I really like it. The problem is the damage on mass drivers is so broken, Puppeteer. 
where an F8 with the new system just literally one bangs uh, Gladius and stuff like that. So I think what CIG should do is keep the damage, but make it where the charge is double the time, because you have to complete the charge and it automatically fires. So if you let go of it, it resets the charge timer. So if they double the timer, keep the damage. If not, they need to nerf the damage, basically. They need to nerf it, because it's, it's, well, it's too overpowered. You can literally take like three or four F8s and destroy a hammerhead in split seconds. It doesn't even stand a chance. And obviously some people would go, well, you could just basically have a hammerhead with mass drivers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not gonna work when you can blap the hammerhead from far range. I don't, I don't know, cleaner AFK, I'm not playing 322. I got no interest, dude. Overdrive itself is all just a buggy mess. You're just lucky or not. There's been no patch. Apparently there's going to be a hotfix that they're bringing out for it. When that comes, I have no idea, dude. But they're working on a, a hotfix, so... You can neither... I, I've, I've completed it. So you've got a chance of doing it just now, or you could wait for a hotfix. I would personally try and do it. Well, if you've got time, obviously. Because I just don't trust CIG to deliver a hotfix anytime soon. But they might prove me wrong, right? Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Pretty sure I claimed Your it, isn't it? Claim has been sent. It is, yeah. You. you know, the funny thing is, and I don't want to spur up too much, like, sort of drama. But there have been some Reddit posts where people have said uh, that they contacted CIG to find out how many things they've done and they've missed out on things that they can't get back and can't see and stuff. So my theory, and obviously this is a 100% TDL special theory, I don't think anything you do in Overdrive counts. I think you have to do Xenofret and 323 to get the upgrade. And they'll just make it out where you have to do overdrive as well. Obviously, I would highly suggest you do overdrive and don't, like, slack on it. But if they're unable to monitor people's progress 100%, I think they're just going to go with, uh, you have to do, they'll monitor people complete uh, thing. Because uh, if I showed this to Fresh the other day, right? What me what should I so CIG have changed up the rules where you now have to complete Overdrive and Xenofret to get it. It said here, a civilian defense force operation to wipe out Xenofret terrorists before they can assault Stanton. Before they can assault Stanton. You were meant to get the upgrade. CIG have now made it where you have to complete Xenofret to get the upgrade. Now again, my theory is just my theory alone, but it feels like they can't monitor Overdrive anymore, so they're going to monitor Xenofray instead, because maybe it's easier on their system. I would still highly suggest doing Overdrive and screenshotting it and all that jazz, but I think they will only take the information from Xenofray since they've now changed the rules of the event. You were meant to be getting the upgrade before Xenofray, like, when we got free 20 free live, you were meant to get it. Now you have to complete Xenofret, which is obviously at some point in free 23. The fuck? Yeah. So, that's my theory anyway. And it would explain why CIG have been a bit shady in the past, like, couple of days. Man, servers seem to be going to shit now. I just want to see the UIs. Because we can go into Arena Commander to test things, it's just I don't like... Yeah, servers are, are taking a shit dive right now. CIG are doing stuff. No, the stuttering is back! Or maybe Vulcan is less stuttering, I don't know. Shit. Now I kind of want to turn Vulcan back on to see if the stutters disappear. I'm gonna bet the free upgrade is gonna cost us, though. 
No, I think you'll still get a free upgrade. I think you'll just be able to buy the upgrade as well. It's the same as I think you're gonna also be able to buy the Mark 1 uh, Hornet as well. The Mark 1 F7A. I think you'll be able to buy it. Because CIG said it's going- that was a free upgrade. But... CIG are gonna get in a lot of fucking trouble where they take a skin and make it where somebody gets a full ship. Because it's 20 bucks for a fucking military ship? You've got to be shitting me, like. Yeah, this is- this is screwed. This is super laggy. Alright, I think we'll go into, uh, Arena Commander to test things, cause... This is super, super fucked. I just wanna see the UI. Like, if it's stuttering... Oh, that ship's not even fucking booting on. Ooh! We gotta do a manual boot. Manual boot, chat. There we go. Alright, so the UI is not stuttering, so it is a Vulcan thing. It is a Vulcan thing. Okay, alright. I'm just gonna do testing in Arena Commander, because I don't want to deal with the stutters. Vulcan! Yeah, I think they'll have time to sort it, yeah, yeah. I mean, you've, st you've still got Puppeteer, like, technically a month before Invictus, so CIG have a month to do PTU. Well, see, the funny thing with that is we've already been given, like, an upgrade in 323, so if you don't know, the, the new F8 has four size threes and four size twos now. And the the FAA just basically has a bigger power plant and it has uh, two size fours instead of four. Uh, so it has two size fours, two size threes, and four size twos. So to be far, fair, you don't really need the FAA. You've already got a huge upgrade with the, uh, the other thing, so... Alright, let's do offline, let's do free flight, let's load it out. Oh wait, do I have it loaded out already? No, it was showing the fucking... Let's change it here. Oh, I've got one on the front. Uh, I need to get more. I want to show this to Puppeteer, the charge. Because I, I like the charge. I think it's a really cool thing. Oh no, it's gonna fuck up. I hope CIG can fix this, this fucking meme of a system. Just let me- CIG, please, let me buy like four. Let me buy four and then confirm the rental and then make it auto-equip, right? This system is so- uh, there we go, see it's not gonna go through. I need to go back into this now to make sure. Yeah, see what I mean? See, it doesn't save. It's so shit, the system. Let me put a couple of fucking FRs on this bad boy as well. I hope somebody is working on a replacement for this. F8C will take it will take it for any price. We know that includes me. Oh dude, if they sell the F8A, I'll buy it. The fuck wouldn't you like? Why bother playing a video game? Just fucking buy. Pay to win. It's the best way to play video games. The people who ever moan about pay to win are the poor people who can't afford it. Just remember that, chat. Just remember, that's how it is. Only poor people cry. <laughs> oh, fuck me. I'm definitely going to hell one day. I like to buy ships as well. 
Why the fuck? It's the same as, uh, like, not getting a premium ticket for Sis and Cunt. Pff, only poor people buy the normal ticket. There's poor and then there's stupid. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. If doesn't- if anybody doesn't understand, we're memeing. Alright. Here's the, uh, the weapons, puppeteer. Charging! Pew! Charging! Pew! So yeah, they just need to nerf the damage a little bit. Charging! Pew! Because again, you got a big cooldown, so when we fire... Oh, you actually have to re-pull it. Fire. Pulling. Pulling. So it's like two seconds before you can fire again. It's really, really cool, man. I like it. I uh, can have two groups firing at different Brody times. Source yeah. is now following. Yo, thanks for the follow, dude. Let's see... I, I think CIG mentioned that they've got the water effects updated, right? A little bit. There's a bit of... Ooh, shit, that's actually looking a little bit better, chat. Yeah, watch though. Oh yeah, that's definitely looking smoother. That's definitely looking smoother. All right, let's do our fucking super duper fucking Destiny song. Ah oh, yeah. Better than listening to your own own theme song. Oh yeah, that looks so much better. Oh, that's so much better. It cuts off early now. It cuts off earlier, and it actually holds a bit more. That's looking good. I wonder if it's still rubbery, though. desire quite a bit yeah interesting so it noses out more when you pitch it I don't know if that's a change need to work on this a bit more wrench us oh my buttons are broken again Oh no, I'm pressing the wrong button. What a fucking doofus. Jeez. Yeah, if they can change the, the, like, the shadow to come across the ground. No, no, no. Right, let's try it again. Oh wow, the railgun actually lights up. Yeah, that's looking good. Let me get this. Let's put the simulations up. If I can. Oh, sorry, we're in offline mode. God damn it. I forgot. The bane of all existence. Offline mode not working. Come on, offline mode. You can do it. Come on. Come on. There we go. 
Oh, what a fucking major problem. Right, let's put on... Oh, shit, I can't... It's overlapping. Very high simulations. I need the camera around. Woo! The water is actually looking a lot better now with... Oh, that's looking way better. Instead of it going jelly. Yeah, see, when it breaks, it's just, it's not rippling anymore with the weirdness. Let's do missile testing, or actually railgun testing. Yeah, that's looking good. Let's do the old fucking missler. Uh, it's not doing the big explosion though. Cool! It's dispersing a lot better now. A lot better. The frogs in the pond, huh? One thing I love about this, like if you listen to the, um, what is this, right? It's like a fucking dump valve here, right? Listen to it. It's a shame that when you're stationary that your boost goes down because it sounds so fucking sick. Again. For the people that don't use the rumble, like, I just, I don't know how you could play this game. If you didn't have it. I'll show you guys what it's like. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Give me a sec. I don't understand how people could have the camera shake off. It might actually be better to go back to the main menu. I need, I need to speak to CIG. I keep forgetting about this one. In offline mode, you can't fucking use the options until it releases for some reason. There we go. It's so stupid. Right, let's take the... Because the global camera shake, I've only got on five, right? So this is what it looks like without. So you can take all the shake off all you want, right? And it just doesn't feel as good. Just does not feel as good. But the problem is, CIG have it where like 5% to 100% is the same stat on like shake and stuff. It's super annoying. I don't even think I've got audio shake on either. I've just got the, the UI. And please, come on. Come on, there we go. So I like, I have it just at five. That's it. Because there's no difference. I don't have any of the other ones on. And I've got audio down as well. Yeah, I don't have the audio shake. I just want visuals. And I think this this shake should be on standard, but reduce it by like 50%. So you shouldn't be able to turn off the shake. 
at all. I think you should have to keep it on, but it should be 50% less than what I've got just now. At the minimum, basically. Fucking cool, man. It's definitely feeling a lot better, though. The water. Yeah, see, there's the nose buckling there. It'd be kind of cool to see the two fighters like fly over each other low, basically with the water spray. We also need like I can't wait for TVI to be back because even in non-Vulcan mode, TVI, the UI is just scuffed because the emissions are off to the left as well. break actually in the walls there's the ripple going across that's cool I really wish see it like for for free flight CIG needs to extend this map by another 50% I I love the I love the whole Mastermo system I just don't agree with how the weapons are right now cleaner the flight feels really good. The problem is weapons do not. They're way too over tuned in range. So the shake is only a camera effect, the ship isn't actually physically shaking, it's just a camera effect, yeah. I, I think it should shake personally, because again, people who are going to do like, trying to min-max the ability to hit people, they'll just take off camera shake, and they won't have any shakes on whatsoever. But I think CIG should make this camera shake a default that you can't turn off but tone it down 50% as a minimum for people who have like motion sickness just because it'll help throw off aim they might go that way because again whoever turns off all these things has an advantage over whoever doesn't I just like the the effect of it it just makes it feel like I'm actually moving at speed it does yeah like, for example, here, it doesn't need to shake like this. CIG need to make it where it stops shaking at this, at this speed. It should only be when you're going full throttle or after burning, you should have the shake. But CIG can work on that. Like, right now, it doesn't need to shake. It should only shake when you use afterburner. And that's just a setting they can work on. 
I will say 323 is no longer all repeater or equal. That's very true. All weapons are actually different. A lot of people have different tastes, different flavors, which is cool. The, oh, the new Gladius sounds are sounding amazing, Ghost. I can't wait to see what they do with other ships. I just hope it's not everything sounds like a Gladius. Well, we're getting that in the future. We're getting that. Like, if you saw at CizenCon, we still have... Like, this is still the old cockpit. Uh, it's not the one that was showcased at CizenCon. So we're about to get the new Gladius, I would imagine, some point this year. Which has all these buttons higher up on the side to, to do things. This is still the 323, our 322 Gladius. It's not the new one. It just sounds a lot better, and it flies a lot better. So for like holding heights and turns, it's so much more smoother. Than what you would have got in uh, 322. Oh yeah, everything will improve massively. It's a good stepping stone though, because it definitely feels a lot better in the way that this thing flies, sounds, and like just general feel, like feeling is so good. Now we need water skiers. The thing is though, like, this is going to be a bitch to try and get because obviously we're going to have to deal with the offline graphics or options menu bug again. There we go. Um, I really don't see the difference in sacrificing FPS for very high water simulation. I genuinely feel like having everything at medium is so much better for your PC. Very high and then everything at medium. Obviously I'm not using DLS, let's put it up to quality. We're not on Vulcan because Vulcan makes the UI go crazy. Right now it does anyway. So our FPS is actually lower, but it's because it's, it's not using the full GPU capability right now. However, it does feel smoother with DLS activated. There's a lot of bloody water on the screen though, which is super annoying. CIG, you need to get understand, the moment you're over ATMS, there's no water on a, a, a canopy. So when I'm doing 300 MS, there shouldn't be any condensation. This is a bad, bad canopy if you've got condensation and water. I guess we'll just have to pop the hood. <laughs> Alright, how do we... Uh... Alright, chat. Let's see here. Where is the canopy button? Oh wait, is this on cruise control? Oh shit, it was in cruise control the whole time. Uh, where is the canopy button? Or the ladder? Where is it? Down here? Where's the chat? Deploy landing gear, enable a couple of flight, draw. Where is it? I just want to lower the landing or raise the ladder. Maybe it doesn't have it. Boo! Doesn't look like it has it, actually. <gasps> Give me the new cockpit! 
So I can actually press the boobity boop buttons. Yeah, we only got deploy landing gear. We don't actually have... Where's... There's no button to lock this thing either, is there? Yeah. It's almost like it's disabled. Damn! I don't want to exit. I just want to... Retract. Yeah, it's not there. Alright. Gonna look a bit goofy. Oh, look, it opens up that area as well. Oh. Mm. Alright. For testing purposes, chat, just imagine the ladder ain't there, right? Look how much better it looks when you don't have water on the screen. Compared to this. Where you can't fucking see. Also, holy shit, I didn't realize this actually comes all the way to the bottom. Or is this a new one? the boundary line. If we had this FPS all the time in the PU, I would be so happy. I would be so happy, chat. Time to go home. Landing our ex our expensive suite. Does the Gladius fit inside? It does. There we go. Home sweet home. Ah, yeah. Have they actually fixed it where it doesn't... Oh, it doesn't make noise when you get outside now. Nice! Nice! Oh. There's a, a hidden wall here. Soon, chat. Coming soon. Your own personal apartment. With hidden glass wall. Uh oh, uh oh. We'll climb back up here. Oh, yeah. Even more. Man, I, I wouldn't mind something like this, to be fair, right? Obviously, a little bit more fleshed out and. Stuff. This would be kind of cool, like a little apartment thing. All right. Is the water below us? I don't think it is, right? Damn it! Right, we need our pl our our ship. We're going to do some extreme sports. <laughs> I've got an idea, chat. We have to do some extreme sports. Dun, 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 dun. We'll need a ride. Okay. This one. This looks good. We're going to attempt a free dive. That faithful Anakin Skywalker scene. Yeah, that looks deep enough, right? 
I don't think I could possibly jump off that ledge. So we're gonna reenact the fall from here. Okay. Beautiful. TDL performing the highest free dive known to man. I kind of feel like it should fall a little bit faster, right? They also need to get it to where you EVA and put your, like, you're flying horizontal. Like, like, just basically put the EVA out. Oh shit, did I make it? Yeah, yeah, it looks like it's deep enough. The shadows are like changing as I turn. DJ's like, yes, this is intended content for Arena Commander. Yeah, yeah. We're testing. We're fully testing capabilities. We are free falling. Woo! The limitations of water free fall diving. I'm actually off course a little bit. Tuck those legs in. Nice. World record. Nearly four kilometers. Mm -mm -mm. Hold your breath. So maybe, maybe a little bit more. Obviously we tested this last week where we jumped out. We got dropped from a A2 bomb. Uh oh, this looks like it's broken. Uh oh, Major. Oh yeah, it's gone. We got dropped from the A2 bomb and we actually survived. So I wonder if there's a height threshold. Um, also, you know what we could try? Let's do Pirate Swarm and see what the Gladius Pirates like against NPCs. Oh no, I should have selected the map. Oh no, that's fine. Do, 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 do. Squadron Battle, it's in the game. The game starts. There are multiple hostiles. Alright, let's see what uh, mass drivers can do against the NPC. Whoa, 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 whoa! Where the fuck did that missile come from? Ooh, a bit of stuttering there. Stop missling me! Yeah, it's actually uh, kind of tricky. Obviously, we need to get a lot closer, right? I'm playing that a bit safe. Hmm, maybe actually the damage is fine. I've been testing it like on stationary stuff. It's not tracking as well. Let's try and uh, lag here. Man, that cro that thing is trying desperately to move off. <sighs> Wonder if it's ESP that's doing it. I can't move down here. Oh my god, we're about to die. Yep, we're dead. <laughs> Holy shit. That NPC did not give a shit. Even though I'm trying to fucking spam this. Do do come on, give me that. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Uh, yeah, put that back up. Mm, 
person yet. Fucking NPC did not give a shit. It's Tuesday, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He just can't bad assist. So ESP should all be off for more accurate shots? No. No, 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 no. Not really. I mean, you can turn ESP off, right? Oh, these actually go through the system. Yeah, it's crazy. kind of feels like, I don't know if CIG have done anything. Now the guns are not charging, what the fuck? Oh, now they are. It almost feels like if you're not 100% on aim, it ain't gonna hit. Also, this thing is taking a lot of shots. When it actually hits it. That's weird. They have almost no aim assist? Yeah. Like, I just wouldn't use these. Like, for big ships, they're absolutely broken to fuck. Also, the head tracking's going weird there. It's weird. Like, again, they're super powerful, but... You have to uh, be 100% on aim, which means a lot of people actually won't use them as much as I thought. Still, it just shows you that with the F8, you're not, you don't even need to get all your shots on to kill. You wouldn't need to even get all shots. I had a lot of fun with shotguns. I wish there was a charge noise. That's something that would be really cool. And the fact that it's just not fucking... Uh, what's the word? Like, sometimes it doesn't even charge. Yeah, that's crazy. He's fresh. I've, tr I've not tried the light strikes either. Or, where's the old school stuff? What was it called again? Oh no, it's size one for that, so it'd be for the arrow. Would be those like neutron cannons. Let's try FLs. I've not tried FLs yet. I had a lot of fun with the shotguns in the last patch. It was actually pretty cool, but I can't use my precision mode because CIG have still got it where alt buttons don't work in the game, which kind of sucks. Twitch fucking up your internet? No, it's probably just my internet, dude. It's probably just my internet. Yeah. Again, guys, I've got shit internet. Alright. 
There's nothing I can do about it. And I'm just not willing to put the money down for Starlink when I've got other things right now, so you have to either just deal with it or find another channel. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna do that. I can't be bothered with the weird stuff that happens on in this. Let's do this. Alright, let's try that. Do a bit more fun map. Yeah, it's it's my end right now. Again, my internet is so shit. It's just dog piss right now, sadly. See, I can't even go into the the new Zoom stuff as well. Ooh, 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 that was a big close. Oh god, these are fast. Holy shit. Oh, these are actually pretty cool. Yeah, these are these are nice. Yeah, 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 I like these. It's like a sort of auto repeater kind of vibe to it. Yeah, yeah. We, I need. Ah, shit. What was my button for staggered fire? Fuck, I can't remember. Ah, there we go. That's it. Let's try it in staggered format. Yeah, that's that's pretty dope. That's a lot better. these these are nice it's just that that like, sort of right speed to do it um they don't hit that hard it's just it's 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 nice it's like half cannon obviously once i dial in more settings and stuff i would probably go back to the mass drivers just for me because i've got the stick now in between my leg i've done no pvp or like pve to dial in aim Literally waiting until CIG have like decided on what they're going to do. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is pretty cool. The only problem I have with the game right now is weapons regen so slow. Like, no joke, I actually prefer tarantulas. Just because I don't have to fucking wait for this energy shit. What do you think about the end, like, the capacitor regen? Fresh. A 
Back strafe, back strafe, fucking NPC. Swapping out for one ballista. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Maybe that's just what I'm feeling. <laughs> Woo! That actually did feel nice hearing. Hearing the engine noises of the hostile, oh shit, the hostile uh, Gladius felt really nice. Oh god, not this one. This one hurts like fuck this thing. Oh god, Jesus Christ! These NPCs are far too overtuned, these little fucking, uh... These Tanas, man. They got four cannons and they do not fucking miss. No, stop spamming! Sounds sick when it kills shit. Oh no. Not the Tana! Not the Tana! Look at it! It just doesn't fucking miss! Damn it, that fucking thing. Has way too much HP. Oh god, I'm getting shot by something else. Ugh. Where's my wingman? Gotta stay on target with this thing. Oh god, no, no, please. Please, no, 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 I'm just a little gladius. Right, all right, all right. Now it's a 1v1 situation. The Buccaneer, no problem. 
people just extend that. As long as we don't have to deal with fucking Tana guns. No! Yeah, these feel good. All right. Let's try something else. Kind of hoping they add stronger super glue to the engine buckies as it's beautiful and falls apart like paper mache. I don't know. It didn't really fall off every time I'm planting shots on it. Felt pretty sturdier compared to previous patches. All right. Let's try the cannons from the Tarantula. Tarantula. Do 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 Alright, back. Vehicle loader. The joys, the joys. Oh no, no FLs. No, 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 no. We won. Oh no, did it not even save it? Oh wait, it did, yeah. There we go. Oh, I actually had some tarantula. Tarantula. Let's see how much ammo we expend here. Sweet near bitch. Okay. Just a Jericho. Always trying to those flyered Sora uh, like they did before Ballistic Change. True. Maybe we'll get that. Meba? Maybe, 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 maybe. Warning, there are multiple hostiles inbound. All right, here we go, here we go. Yeah, these are weak as fuck, man. Like forty five fucking rounds. They don't even have any sound files either. Fucking NPC is trying to be sneaky with its back strafing, back strafing, back strafing. CIG with the keep it. Look at it. Just fucking back strafes. It's crazy. Yeah, don't know about that. Silent but deadly. Yeah. I, that's what it feels like. It just feels like you're doing no damage with these. You know? That does not feel fun. Oh, 
Ah, uh, right. Um, what else we got? Pyro burst. Forward pyro burst again. Let's fucking try pyro burst. These have been a meme for fucking years. God knows how long since these were actually useful. The shit shotties, yeah, 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 yeah. Imagine if they were actually decent. I'm, I'm betting money that they're not. But it might be, what the fuck is going on with this UI, like? Also, where are they? Oh, there we are. Practice in this garbage 100%, they'll be removed. Most likely. I'm just interested to see where CIG are going with it. I didn't kill go. Morning. Got four shots, right? So this is like an energy based shotgun, right? Let's find the Tanas are gonna be engaging on us. Yeah, look at them with their fucking guns that just rotate round. These piece of shit tanners. I'm gonna go for this one. Maybe Aurora. Yep, looks like they're still shit. Regen is dreadful. Yeah, these are garbage. It's not even doing anything. They look cool. It's like fucking snow cone. Blap me with my snow cone! Fuck it, it does nothing. Alright. Alright, Pyro Burst, absolutely fucking garbage. In the distortion? I don't even know what the fuck they're meant to do. If it's just a distortion gun now, then well, that's a bit meh, but... Are the new singes? I'm not gonna try singes, just cause, like... I don't know, like, it's, it's, they're just... Meh. I mean, I can try it for you guys. Maybe it's different. I don't know. I will play with them. Sunjas. Sunjaru. Obviously, everything that I use can be in a massive effect if you just go into an F8 and just fucking spam it, but. We'll see here. Let me, you know what, I'm gonna buy all the stuff I want to test. Um, Deadbolts. Well... Oh, that's not going through. Or is it? No, it's not going through. Right now, I think F FLs are feeling really good. They feel really good. I'm not a fan of, like, I like the idea. Oh, wait. Yeah, we're doing Singes, right? I like the idea of, um. 
There we go. Oh, Jesus. Omnisea cannons are good. Omnisea cannons hit harder, but they've got less rounds. Or, like, they've got less speed. I have, I need to actually look at all the stats and stuff. Be kind of cool. Warning. There are Warning. Really? Oof, three cross sections, we don't want that. I think these don't have assist either. Overwhelming because there's no fucking noise, right? Holy shit, what the fuck just hit me? Oh, it's the Tana. The fucking OP Tana motherfucker, like. That Tana is like the most disgusting fucking NPC to cross. Hey, look at I'm about to die again. I don't like the the waiting for these guns to fucking reload though. So they're cool, but it's like it's just worthless. This whole fight, I'm waiting for the guns to regen, and if they miss, it's just worthless. Yeah. Yeah. I would never use them. Like, the, the charge timers are too long. And especially when you've not got any of, like, the other stuff. In the last three years? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I just... I wouldn't use that. It's just not my cup of... Like, I... If you're, a, like, a... If you're gonna go in and do, like, diehard sweat combat, they're kind of cool. But I'm looking at fleet combat where I want to apply as much damage as I can. And then go back to maneuvering and stuff like that as much as I can. And I just feel like these things require you to fucking be stationary slapping it down and it... It's just not... It would not be worth my time to be that stationary. If you're in a bigger ship, sure, right? But not for a Gladius. You do not want to be fucking spending that amount of time looking at the pip, waiting for the gun to go up. What CIG could do is when you have less guns, it makes it charge faster and fire faster. And the more guns you have on your ship, the longer it takes to charge. That would be fine. So whilst you've got that huge ability to slap with more guns, you've got more, like, faster speed with, uh, less guns. But I would imagine CIG will change these before we actually, uh, go to live. Because they're just not fun. Mass drivers are only good against big ships, and I get what CIG are maybe trying to do with that. But, they're, they're, all, like, all other ballistic cannons just don't feel good compared to laser guns. Just not enough damage, it feels like. Tarantulas need maybe, like, 25 to 30% more damage. Hey, Pagan, how you doing, dude?
Now, last patch I had a lot of fun with these things, because it really forces you to get up close and personal. But I did like them, chat. Might go for, yeah, going for Teddy first. As a miss shot on my part, because I was watching the radar more. See, these, for me, just feel really fun, because it's more my style of playstyle. Like, if I'm going to snipe, I want a big cannon. If I'm in a light fighter, I want to get up in your face and blap, you know? And we had this a while back where on Daymar, I was always shotgun fit. And I might go back to that, to be honest, because these feel really good. Give me more power! These NPCs definitely have the craziest aim with their cannons. Yeah, using scatter shotguns, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good for close range, not good for long range. And I'm versing something that can back strafe and long range you down quite easily. See how it's fucking just slugging them out. And I do not have enough afterburner to push on somebody that keeps going backwards, or an NPC that keeps going backwards. However, lovely, lovely shots when it actually lands. Oh god, took me lag, took me lag. See what I mean? Like, the sort of standard repeater setup is really, really good for a Gladius. Well, it's only the, the ones with the cannons, the uh, Tanas. Those things just have, like, god aim, though, Ondo. They're very tanky, and they've got god aim. They don't miss. See, that just feels good. This is, like, for me, I might go back to arrow and fucking scatters for atmosphere. Because I'll be able to close up on big ships and blah, blah, blah. Fuck off with your back strafing missile spam! Blap. Blap. Yeah, I like this. I do like dominance. I think you can summon Ondo when you're saying backstreet three times in a row. Is that that? See, again, look, it barely does anything at range, but when you get that little sweet spot here, like super red, they're fucking round. Like, shotguns on light fires just feel really, really good. Really good. Uh oh, 
Super lag. Get this fucking piece of shit off the fucking map. Beyblade in. This fucking this blappy. Yeah, because you can't hit until you get to a certain threshold, which is nice. Big damage, super close range. Good ammo pool as well. Headache inducing? Well, you can just turn it off, dude. If you don't like it, you can mute it. I personally like it. It's what I've been asking for for years. Actually hearing my engine noises. Can't mute in-game sounds though? What do you mean? Yeah, you can. You can just turn them off, dude. If you don't like it. Don't fly a Gladius then. You know? There's so many ways of getting around it. Oh, uh, cause, cause you know what a spaceship sounds like, do you? change anyway? In what way change? Yeah, when you throttle, like, put the throttle down, I would agree it sounds like a car, but... Again, who here has uh, built a spaceship and know exactly how it's meant to sound, right? What CIG should have done is make them sound like jets, but they're going for that sci-fi, we're doing something different bullshit like they always do, right? So... Man, those fucking things look so hard. We're close.
Yeah, well, CIG need to separate the tracks where you can have, like, the weapon sounds high and the engines low and... You know what I mean? Out of, instead of just one soundtrack, split the audio, basically. That would be sick. Holy fuck, I lost a lot of shields not concentrating on that. Yeah, I, I'm digging shotguns, like... Fucking dreadful for range, but... It's like if you play like my style, which is quite aggressive in your face, these are really, really good. And before anyone goes, oh, they're just going to be OP. You have to get within like 400 meters. If you've got cannons, people will die before they even get near you. It's just really good for that aggressive play style. Really, really nice. Yeah, you can kite them, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do they still flat out with rolls? What do you mean? When you're aiming on something. Where is this NPC? Like a life challenge, yeah, exactly. There we are. Let's go. Engage that nav. Even anything here. <laughs> God damn it, where are they? Are you? Nice. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. I saw an explosion. A beacon of, a beacon of Gondor. There is. Oh my god, what is that? Oh, it's a buccaneer with no wings. Again, for atmosphere, these would be really good. Like closing distance with an arrow, because the arrow is so fast on Daymar. Like, it's ridiculous. It does 900 in SCM with Afterburner. Oh no, sorry. With uh, Nav Mode. So you can push up on people so fast. Obviously you could get hit by a missile, but... Again. That's the, the risk and stuff. Uh, the thing's coming from me. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, 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 Calm down, boys. Calm down. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Whoa, I just got hit by a cannon. Oh, God. There's a Tana. There's a Tana. I feel there's a Tana around here. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're gonna maybe die. Yeah, yeah, boys hate me fucking hard. Oh, it's off me now, whatever it was. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Is it this? What was hate me with cannons? No, it's this. Was it this that hit hard? They're actually quite tanky now. Oof. <laughs> Shit! It's a propane tank flew past us. Yeah, 
look how much shields I'm losing. Just trying to get in. Redzer's back. I'm not sure on how I feel about the fucking missile view, but whatever. NPCs that just backstrafe. Oh, Vanguard. I haven't even tested them yet. Try something else. Annoyed that the C78 got nerfed. It's been nerfed for fucking years, dude. It was broken beyond belief. CIG just don't come back to things, sadly. Let's see what I'm gonna do. Let's try arrow in this. I want some more speed momentum. I need uh, little bitty ones, little bitty gun. Oh yeah, we need a skin. Okay. Let's do... Yeah, let's make it a little bit more chaotic. How singes? Oh, the, they're not worth using. It's the same with mass drivers. They're only good like if you're in a big ship or something like that. If you were in a big ship. Hey, Democles. How you doing, dude? Warning. There are multiple hostiles. In there are multiple hostiles. All right. Let's see what the fucking nasty, smelly Tana does to the. Little itty bitty arrow. The little itty bitty arrow. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. The second one instantly went for me. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Get off me, little bitty arrow. Poor little arrow shield. All right, that's one down. I actually felt a lot better. Oh, no, 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 no. Then the Gladius. Arrow feels really good. Yeah, 
fly now. No! Gotta get this one. This one's the bitch. Oh yeah, this this is definitely the arrow of my dreams. The blap blap arrow. Blap blap. Blap blap. blap. blap, blap. Yeah, Arrow actually feels really good. Again, if we get hit by, like, some scary weapons, we're pretty dead very really fast, but, like, there, for example, holy shit. I don't know what's fucking hitting us. Ugh. It's the propane tank. hard for a little arrow I need my TVI TVI would be a lot better Let's push away a bit We don't want to go for Cuts Black. Let's go for Mr. Majika, who was chasing us. Oh, God. Now we're third party again. There's a fucking gladius on us. <laughs> God, how the fuck is it still turning like that? <laughs> Somebody on me. Yeah, I'm I'm digging fucking these. These feel good on the arrow. A little bit more because of the movement of the arrow, but also like it just uh, it feels good for what like we used to do back in the day on demo sneak in with shotties and just fucking get close deal with the long range try and push past it keep forcing on the fight yeah feels really fucking good snapshot gameplay yeah this does feel really fucking good this is good fun Against, like, a sweaty player, you're gonna get beamed down, but if you could, like, stay back in the fight with the arrow, might be really good. Let me just quickly check out here, because I've got... The emails I'm just checking out. Waiting for Shredders to come back? Have you tested them yet, Fresh? 
Let's try Shredder's then. That feels really, really good on the arrow. That sort of in and out blap, shake it all about, do the hokey cokey and turn around. Two free patches? Right. Time to test it, chat. Let's test, please, please. Please make Shredder's good again. Please make Shredder's good again. I want that brrr, brrr. Gameplay back. I bet it's got like super fucking low ammo though. Oh, these are size one, so I need size four. Size four. Two. Where is. Oh, what, what are they called? Oh yeah, they're there, not the ones. Shredda. Please, CIG, let me just buy multiples with Wreck. I hate this scrolling window, it's just so bad. There we go. All right, let's go back, cause heaven forbid it actually works. Buzza. Buzza. You're going nowhere. I've got you for three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's a good that's a good movie. All right, there we go. what the size fours are like nah. when i flew the talon in atmosphere it felt worse than a fucking aurora and since i spend most of my time in atmosphere it's like i will always balance around what feels good in atmo before i balance what feels good in space but when i felt it in atmosphere it was so slow i can give it a shot yeah i'll give it a shot after this let me just try just the threaders oh for fuck's sake before I'm winding and dying. No! No! No, no, that missile! Why is that missile still changing? Oh man, these are super underwhelming. Yeah, bl every ballistic just feels garbage, man. That's too much ammo for, like, an Aurora NPC. Oh god, that is so shit. That is nearly 120 rounds on the Shredders just for a fucking Aurora NPC. So three times that for an Aurora player. Let's see what we do against Tana. However, I have noticed the Tanas do seem to struggle against hitting the fucking arrow, which is weird. <laughs> Even the animation's still broken. Whoa, shit! Holy shit! No, 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 no. All right, that's scary. That's super scary. Man, they, like, CIG, you have to fucking nerf back strafing. Do something about it. It's so fucking bad how that thing can just push backwards as I'm after burning forward. It's so dumb. These fucking plonkers, like, can't get it to fucking work, like. Instead of building master modes, you should be building a new fucking IFCS to remove this shit. Anyway, Shredder's garbage. Let's try, uh, Talon. Uh, I might have to rent it, right? Yeah. It's under... what's it here? Is it this? Blade Prowler Taloon. 
It's it's just so fucking stupid. It really is. It pisses me off that they just don't get it. They don't understand that backstrafing is the worst fucking mechanic ever in this game. Because, yeah, you just literally backstrafe, bang, 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 and whilst you're using all your afterburning to go forward, they're just fucking moseying backwards. Uh, I'll just leave it as default for the weapons, because I haven't even tested the light strikes yet, so... We will test it that way. I don't think I've got a skin for it now. No, I don't want to tell him. Yeah, we'll keep it with the light strike fours. Just curious to see what these will be like. CFs versus attrition. Uh, if you can't aim, CFS. If you can aim, attrition's. You eyes a little bit guffed. There it is. Good. All right, let's do the fucking hokey pokey. Make the ship Warning. smaller profile. Is it with Vito? That's it with yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's see. Up against the fucking Tanners of Doom, who are already blapping me at two kilometers, which is good. These guns have no sense. Yeah, these guns are pretty shit. <laughs> Alright, light strikes might be garbage. Yeah, you've got loads of ammo. They're they're they're, they're dreadful. Alright. We need a different weapon to test. They are absolutely shit. I think they defended the backstrafe too easy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. CIG have constantly been needing backstrafe to play this video game. That's why they've never actually done something about it. It's just a stupid idea. Allowing people to fucking turret around. Um... Can you get Dominance 4? I don't think you can, right? I know you can get Attrition 4s. Let's try Attrition 4s. I'm actually curious to see what two Attritions would be like on this. And everyone who defends Backstrafe, pfft, it's just fucking stupid, like. All you need is Space Break. You don't need to fucking go backwards. This thing felt pretty good to fly. It did feel okay. It felt a little slow for what it's meant to be. I'm trying to think of what other weapons that would be good for this thing. Um, so you can't get Tranchula Freeze. Your cannons up at level 5 are pretty much meh. Oh, we could do Omniskis. Yeah, because you don't get FL fours, right? So we got Omniskis. We can get them. Yeah, so attritions and omniskis, I would probably suggest, because everything else means going down in weapon size. Quartler, weapon size. You can't get FLs unless you go size 3, which would defeat the purpose of having two size 4s. You're going to lower your damage so much, would it be worth it? Let's try attritions first. I'm just curious to see what two 4s is going to be like. Shame that we couldn't, you can't do the fitting whilst in the mode, but I get why CIG don't allow you. The fucking preset you gotta do on this thing is crazy. Alright, so we get 12 shots, 24 with max, okay. Let's take a little hit in the old damage up against this thing. Alright, so not hitting at that speed. 
Again, no fucking weapon sounds, which is kind of annoying. Oh. Oh my. That's actually pretty fucking good compared to how, like, nasty these tanners are. Ooh, two four attritions might actually be, uh... Holy shit. Obviously, I'm not going the regen there because we're trying to get the shield back. And these are... These are pretty good. Let's have a look at the damage again here, now that I only have to worry about one. See, it's just fucking back strafing again here. That's a lot of damage, actually. For these. Because these tannas are super tanky. However, I'm not superly, like, impressed with the Tana. I uh, sorry, the Talon. It doesn't feel like... You're getting 225... You know, it's, it's like Gladius, basically. And I don't know if I would prefer a Gladius to this. If that makes any sense. Like, I, f I liked how the arrow felt a lot more. Because, look, when you go fast forward, Democles, if you don't understand the new system, the moment I turn round, I go massively down and I can't go any faster 260. It's the fact that I can go backwards at this speed whilst you, your SEM, you have to have afterburner to get around me, you know? You can't converge both weapons, so you lose half the DPS. Again, if you go fast in a straight line and you 180 turn, De Democles, you can only go backwards 260 in this ship. And you can go faster going forward than any other ship. The problem is, is that this thing can go backwards the same speed as you SEM go forward. Which means that if you don't have afterburner, you can't get past somebody doing this to you whilst they're going backwards. So it's very, very fucking cheesy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm only using this just to sort of, like, see general weapons. Blue. Because the NPC Tanner is super, super powerful. But what I like about it is it's the only one that has, like, a full cannon setup. So you can see how much damage things will take. A lot of these guns, just no sound. That's pretty good. Speed limit is not a bad idea. It's, the problem is that going backwards is the same speed as going forward in SEM. Which is fucking stupid, because CIG can't make it separate, right? They just won't let go of this shit. It needs to be where you do like 300, 400 forward in SEM and go backwards 250. They won't let go of this. And then you just make it where Afterburner gets you up to that top speed, basically, you know? Oh, the Talon is shit in atmosphere. It's like a brick. It's an absolute brick. I can quickly jump in to show you that. Uh, free fly. Uh, change. I like how it actually stores, remembers the last ship for each mode, which is kind of cool. Uh, window circle offline, there we go. Yeah, the saber is shit, Tumbrino, yeah. CIG's numbers just don't fucking make sense, like... It, I, like, I, I don't want to harp on about Yogi and the team, but it generally does feel like they have zero idea what ships should be doing in this game. And they're just fucking free decking it right now. Because the Sabre should be faster than most ships with the way it is in profile. See how slow it is? 213 in the dive maximum speed. And it only gets up to like... 
300 and something in the push. Did you ever try hunting it? I've not, but I've watched a lot of videos on it. I don't like- I don't- right, here's my story. It's why I don't want to play DCS very often, Kilgore. Because if I go and play a game that actually works, I'll probably quit Star Citizen. And I just don't want to do that. Yet. You know? That's why I don't play DCS, I don't play Hunting It, because the moment I play a game that makes sense, I'll probably quit Star uh, Stars and All for together. Yeah, see, it just feels really, really slow. And literally every sort of fighter flies like that anyway. Again, for the weapons that you get for this ship, I just don't think it would be worth it. Now, if CIG, interesting that the the ship looks different in one view. There's closed wings when it's, I don't know. Yeah, I, I like again this thing. It once they do like stealth balancing and stuff, maybe it'll be good. But it's just super super slow. And because, like, now I feel like Arrow and stuff are the best to use for atmosphere. I would just use a Gladius than this ship. That's just how I feel. I think you probably get about the same DPS with three size threes to two size fours. But the Gladius is faster, better turning, smaller profile. I, I would just choose that if I was doing, like, atmosphere stuff. Even in space, to be fair, I think the Gladius feels better than the Talon. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't use it. Let me quickly go in for this and see what Tumbrino. Cause I've, I've not used it in a couple of patches, but I can already feel I'm gonna be pissed off. Cause CIG have already nerfed it for atmosphere flight. It used to be one of the best ships to use in heavy atmosphere, and now it's just an absolute shit show. Again, Yogi bless their team to bits, really don't know what numbers to put in this game. And that's kind of worrying after all these years. Because we're talking about a very, very fucking streamlined ship. And it's only doing 200 in the straight. Which makes no sense. It's twin jet. And it's as thin as you can fucking get. This thing should be cutting through atmosphere like it's butter. I've not tried the Razor or the M50. I can get around to it. Just look how, look how unathletic this is. Again, I would just use Arrow. Arrow is so fast. Small profile, good damage, tiny pro- like, good armament. There's just no reason to use anything else in atmosphere right now. If you're wanting that interceptor kill- kill thing. Fury can't warp though, so I'm always going to look at it. That's a ship that requires a mothership to bring things in. There again, it's just super slow. Even the forward is just so shit. Yeah, I know, but Flood, but when you... Right, so, I get that, right? And I respect that. But when you make two videos talking about the Saber, and then you release the Saber as an absolute shit show, it means that they never had a clue what they were talking about to begin with. When Yogi did the video, we are going to put the Saber in between an uh, Interceptor, or a Medium Fighter and an Interceptor. Which means it should be fast as fuck, right? Out of all the medium fighters, it should be the fastest. Yet the Hornet is faster, which is meant to be the brawler, you know? And that shows you that they have no fucking clue as into what numbers to write down in. They look at a ship and go, Alright. It's one of the most aerodynamic ships we've got in the game. It's got huge intakes, it's got twin fucking jets, and it's one of the fastest in atmosphere right now. Okay, let's make it the slowest in master modes. Brain dead shit, as far as I'm concerned. You don't take one of the fastest ships in atmosphere and make it the slowest. 
That's not how you balance a fucking video game. You look at it logically. Which is streamlined? Which is not? Which is look like it's going to be getting a lot of drag and all these issues? You know? That's why the Gladius is now flying really good. But a fucking Mark II should not be out flying a uh, 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 thingy bob. Watch. This thing is not as aerodynamic as the, uh, the Sabre. I think the Sabre is stealthy. Yeah, but again, when, are you really going to release enough following. damage to justify the stealth? You know what I mean, Tamburino? Like, stealth is a weird thing, you know? Well, that's what you've got in, in normal mode right now. But again, look. This thing is going a few meters a second faster than the Sabre in the dive. And it's faster in the afterburner push. Something that is one jet and not a streamline, as it? So, again, for me, I, if I'm going to go into atmosphere, I'm going to use a Mark II over a Sabre. Oh, the, the Mark II Hornet sounds really 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 good it's a little bit bubbly though if you know what I mean it sounds like the propane tank is fucking it's got some air pockets but you gotta love that you're pushing Mac 1 and uh, can't see out of the glass though CIG are fantastic at making it where you can't see shit in this game They need to bleed the fuel line. Yeah. It's hydrogen, doesn't matter. There's a propane sound to it. So Merce can't see, I know, like I just don't understand why CAG don't remove it. The moment you're over ATMS, no water can stick to a glass canopy. Yeah, I'm doing 200 MS and I literally am like I'm under fucking the sea, you know? Because again, look, where, where's the water hitting my face, right? So whoever does this thing at CIG needs to fucking really go and understand how water condensation works on a fucking canopy. Yeah, they don't need to remove it, but again, it should be when you're slow, Jason, right? When you're moving over ATMS, no water sticks to this fucking screen. Yeah, it's not physicalized because it's just a fucking filter. That's the bad part about it. It's not actually raining. You know? In DCS, yeah, doesn't it fire off? It pings off when you're at speed. Again, I am going now 40 m 30 ms and there's this is how it should be on the screen, right? But now look at it. This does not happen at 200 ms. And how am I getting condensation inside the fucking ship? If I don't have condensation at 30 40 ms, how am I getting it at 200 ms? Again, the person who designed it doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. They just rolled their face over the keyboard and went, this look fucking good. And it sucks. Tone it the fuck down. It should be high, like, density on, like, they just need to 180 it. They need to 180 the settings. When you're slow, it's on the canopy. When you're going fast as fuck, it's off the canopy. Looks like, even in a rainstorm, it doesn't do that glitch. You don't see fucking jet fighters with big windscreen washers going on when they're moving through a fucking thunderstorm. Graphics artists? Well, again, somebody could educate them. It's not difficult to go, right, let me go to fucking YouTube before I design this, right? 
Yeah, thank you. Puppeteer is already ahead of my rant, which is beautiful. I love, I love when we're on the same page. Look. He took off. There, where's the rain, CIG? Where's the fucking rain? Literally took off in the rain. Water on the fucking thing. I love the fucking the handle grab. It's one of my favorite part of the F-18. I love that as well. I would I would have to do that every time. Look look at the water. It's gone. Before it even took off the fucking carrier, it's gone. We're not even at Mac 1 yet. We're probably not even at ATMS. How, how fast does a fucking F-18 have to be before it takes off a carrier? Like, how does the, can the catapult get it to go? Right? You didn't see? So look, there's the water on the canopy, right? Because we're at sea, right? There's going to be water because we're at sea. So you see it, all over the canopy is water. Before he even gets into the fucking air, the water is gone. All over here, right? Let, actually, let me move my camera so you can see here. And then let's bring in enhanced view. Because we all know that enhanced view is the best way to play this, this, this simulator, all right? <laughs> Give me a second. Give me a second. We need we need enhanced view. All right. There we go. There we go. Can you see it, chat? Can you see the enhanced view of water on the canopy? Here we go. Oh god. It's gone. There it goes, chat. It's gone. Right? Here's another one. Let's let's show DCS world. All right? Let me fucking take off advanced view. This is DCS world, right? Look at the rain on the canopy. Look at that rain. All right, we're just fucking taxing to the fucking catapult. That's not space rain. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> what the fuck is space rain? Boop, 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 boop. See, look at that. Look at the drippy, drippy chat. This is what rain looks like on a canopy. Overlord one one airborne. Overlord one one airborne. Now watch on the canopy. Let's get enhanced view in. Wait 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 wait. Ah, we can't scroll back, can we? Oh look, chat. It's gone. We're in a fucking rainstorm, and it's gone. Wait, how do you do the normal view so I can actually s yeah, 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 this is what I need to do. Uh, here, we're, we're, we're doing a YouTube hack. Don't look at me. YouTube hacking. All right. YouTube hacking. We need... Right? See, look. There you go. There's the... Uh, we need enhance. Enhance. Booby, booby. There's the rain, right? Watch. Here we go. Watch the rain. It's gone, chat. Look at that. Full fucking rainstorm, and it's gone. But in Star Citizen, 
you literally have it where the moment you're fucking flying at Mach 1, you can't see where you're going. So whoever the artist is, you're a bright spark. You're going to go places. Because all it took was you to go to YouTube for a split second and work out what the fucking water does on a canopy to a fucking jet plane. Congratulations, you fucked it up. Fucking dumb shit. Do, 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 do. Oh wait, Bart, Bart's not a subscriber, so he got deleted. He got deleted. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah. He got deleted. Look at the windscreen wipers. And 6.1, set back of thrust. Check. Bum, bum, bum. Finally can see your stream, for fuck's sake. Why? What's, what's wrong with the stream? V1. Yeah, as soon as he's up, it's gone, yeah. dude. Look, look how clear that is. Even though it's scraping off the side, look how lower the clear is. And the fact that they can turn the wipers off is an indication of what the fuck is going on. Look, they're going slow as fuck. They need wipers. It's a big bitch that they're taking off. Right? But even in the rainstorm, look. Look at the fucking water on the side of the glass. It's not even moving. Check. Now we're in, we're facing the storm. Taking off. Where is it here? Wipers off, watch. And 6.1, set back of thrust. I really wish we, right, quick note for a rant. I really wish we had radar like this. With like the, the fucking blips and the peeps and all that shit. Check. Here we go. Nose up. V1. And watch wipers off. Gear up. They go. Gear up. Gear up. Wiper off. Wiper off. There we go. Look. Do you see that chat? Do you see that massive amount of fucking rain on your screen? And they're not even fucking going Mac 1 yet. Not that they would in a in a fucking commercial plane. That would be kind of cool if they did though. But they're not, right? So how the fuck couldn't somebody look at this video? How old's this video? One year ago. Couldn't look at a video at the time and be like, what does rain do on somebody's canopy? You know? But no, CIG are just like, <laughs> let's free dick it, you know? Let's watch Free Willy and we'll fucking do what happened to... Because there was so much fucking water on Willy's face that that's how, obviously, jets work, right? They watch Disney's Free Willy. Actually, I don't even think it's Disney. Fucking stupid. Oh, by the way, they're actually making a second Concorde. I can't remember what its name is, but it's going to be a little bit faster than Concorde. It's meant to be able to get from London to America in like an hour or something like that. It's fucking rapid. Absolutely rapid. It's in development just now. Scram- is that it? It's, it's using a new uh, engine technology. Let me find it here because it actually does look pretty fucking cool in concept. Uh, new Concorde plane. Um, da, 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 da. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. Overture. Look how fucking cool that looks. This looks fucking solid, man. Such a beautiful plane.
15k a tick. Yeah, but again, if you are like a somebody that makes millions per week alpha and you need to get from America to England and vice versa within an hour to have a fucking meeting, nobody gives a shit. 15k a ticket, dude. This is for people that need to literally be a, a meeting that costs them or a meeting that lasts 10 minutes is 15k, you know? Yeah, definitely not for us. <laughs> don't worry. We don't get to ever travel on this shit. Sorry, it's in 3.5 hours. 15 hours to do uh, Los Angeles to Sydney in 8 hours. Uh, a trip that usually takes around 15 hours. So Sydney, Los Angeles to Sydney in nearly half the time. So, pretty fucking sick, man. Ridiculously fucking cool looking as well. I really like the design of it. <laughs> See, this is like something that I, w I would expect CIG to make, like for a space game. This just looks like a fucking spaceship. Elegant. Origin. It's slower than Concord? What was Concord doing it then? And how many accidents did Concord have? What's the effect of having the engine so back? Because this thing is literally pushing speeds that most commercial lines would dream about going, that's why. So once you get up in, uh, like when you get further up in the gravity and stuff, you're wanting it to where like you've got minimalistic, like the engines are barely doing anything to keep you at speed. So you want it to be more like a jet fighter where the engines are at the back. And obviously putting them at the back is, well, it's not gonna look very good, you know? Poor Concord. Concord was fucking awesome. But I do like, I like the look of this. This is really fucking elegant. Yeah, but I think this also sits more. What was Concord? Let's see here. Uh, do, do, do. 65 to 80 passengers. What was Concorde? In how many it could hold? I've been on the test Concorde. Not, uh, but not whilst it was moving. Uh, yeah, Concorde was very small. I don't know, like, if maybe it was 65 to 80. Up to 120. So I would only imagine the thing that is making this better than Concord is the fact that it probably costs less to run it. Because Concord was very expensive to run. With 65 to 80 passengers, I don't think there's much of a queue. British Airways. How does it compare to Concord? Concord was the king of the skies when it came to speedy travel and was introduced in 1976 until it was retired in 2003, three years after Air France flight crashed into a hotel, killing everyone on board. Yeah, that's, that's a good way of putting people off high speed uh, flight, right? <laughs> was similar to the size of Virtua to him while it maximum range was for carried. Carried up to a hundred passengers, so this carries more. Concord, um, was taken in Marvel. The missed school. Concord operation cruise speeds was Mach two, around fifty, thirteen fifty in miles per hour. Three hours. So this does it in three point five.
What's his fuel type though? I don't know. I don't think it's got like those details. 200 million for one of these bad boys. Easy. Not much progression, I, but again, we have to see safety, how much fuel it uses. Also, emissions. Concord was a huge emission thing. So that thing was pumping out fucking shit into the sky as it was going. This might just be cleaner. You, you go within like half an hour longer than Concord, but it might be cleaner for the environment, so maybe that's it. Flight today is all about fuel, fuel efficiency, yeah. That's where I think it probably, like, banks on. It's probably got much better fuel emissions and stuff. It's noise pollution too. Depends on, like, what this thing is able to do. Under Mac 1 when flying above land. Yeah, it sounds like they're... They're being, um... What's the word? Considerate. Because I don't think many people would like fucking shit flying a Mac 1 over their houses, right? Anyway, still pretty cool. I'm glad that super kind of stuff is coming back. Right, testing Buccaneer. Uh, let's put oh. Maybe like a whole Omni ski. Actually, no. Wait, 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 wait. Chat, chat, chat. Chitty, chitty, chat. Uh, we need spinal mount. I'm thinking a blapper. The blapper version. Yeah, we're gonna need size twos, right? Oh, we could use Helions. Mm, no, let's just do Dominant. Let's do a full. This is basically going to be the gank. It flies in fast, it fucking sits in front of your face and goes blap, blap, and then it runs for the fucking wind. That's the idea of this. The blap blap. Oh, it's bugged. The system. Need to bring back blimps? I would I would love for them to bring back blimps. No joke. How'd you get the upper hand on a Gladius that snuck behind your F8 without going nav? You're dead. The mistake is that you let the Gladius get behind you. That's the downside. The F8 can one shot, nearly two shot the Gladius Bart, but if you if the Gladius gets behind you, you're dead. That's it. That's the downside. You've got to have a wingman that protects you. Everyone's gonna like be in an F8, and the moment that somebody outflies you, you're fucking scuffed. You're absolutely scuffed. And the thing is, it takes so long to go into nav mode that uh, you can get absolutely disintegrated. An F8 should fly as part of, like, a damage dealer for a squadron, basically. It's literally a solo vanguard that doesn't have defense. That's how you have to imagine it. And I'm fine with that. The problem is, the complaint that I've got with CIG just now is that when you fit it with these broken mass drivers, you can literally go behind uh, like a vanguard and literally like one shot it, but they will fix them somehow. But yeah, you like, you want to fly two F8s basically, you know. Backstrafe is not enough against, no, 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 not puppeteer. You can't fly backwards in the, the thing. The gladius can literally get around you. You are so, the F8's so slow. 
And I think that's how it should be, you know? Hornet just backstrafes and one-shot arrows. Again, the mass driver stuff needs to be changed, dude. They did change sledges, but they're just shit, Tumbrino. They're just shit. Mass drivers have a charge, but if you actually land the shot, you just one-shot. But CIG will nerf or change uh, mass drivers down. And again, like, once you get around an F8, it's so easy to kill it. All you have to do is just fucking chaff yourself and get behind it. Yeah. They nerf, uh, nerfed it a bit with the backstrafe. Once you're in the slot, it's very hard to get out of... Get, yeah, yeah, exactly. If you let somebody get in the slot behind you, an F8 is fucking easy to kill, dude. It's just that initial pass, right? And I, I think that's fine. That's fine. What if mass drivers got super low ammo? They just hit so hard, dude. They hit so hard. But they have no aim assist. So, like, everyone that was used to them in the previous patch, I guarantee you those people can't hit with the mass driver now. The mass driver has no assist. And when you hold the charge, it fires as soon as it hits the charge. Which means if you're not 100% accurate, you're not hitting with mass drivers. Which means if I'm in an arrow, and you can't 100% aim me, I'm getting behind you and I'm killing you within like 20 seconds. If you're in an F8. And I think that's fair. If you can land the shot, you kill them instantly. If you don't land the shot, you die. That's a fair trade as far as I'm concerned. I think Singes have no point now because they don't have physical ship damage once- Yeah, Singes or- uh, Singes definitely need to be pushed up or something like that. Alright, I'm just testing the book. I want to see what it's like in atmosphere. Does it outfly the arrow? Not by much though. Interesting. Oh yeah, yeah, big ships are... A lot of people are complaining at how slow big things are, but I like it. We just need more stuff on the... Uh... Yeah, funnily enough, Arrow is... Still, like, super king just now. For atmosphere combat. Obviously, if you get hit... If you turn bad, you're dead, but, yeah. I can test out the defender for you. But yeah, this is... This is, uh... Not that good for its role. But I'm I'm fine with all these changes where some ships are good in space, some are garbage in atmosphere. Totally cool with that. You've got two choices where the Gladius and the Mark II are just good in space and uh all that jazz. You want a defender? I don't think I own a defender. My god, Maximus Speed, you're you're causing me to have to fucking rent. Oh no, I actually do have a defender. Never mind. I take that back, I apologize. I thought you were gonna cost me 187k to fucking test this thing out for you. Oh my god, it's got a little mouth. Look at that, it's got bubbles. Let's have a look here. I'm not gonna fit out though. Can't be bothered. C2 no longer a light fighter? Of course it's no longer a light fighter. In PTU, I can't re rent anything. Just uh, reset your account. You'll have like 500k if you do. Wait, where's the fucking arms? Oh, this bug is still in. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Same speed as a saber. It's the same speed as a saber, so why bother using the saber when this does it better, right? Carrick is still an interceptor? Guys, I can't test the Carrick. Somebody would have to give me it. Yeah, this is not bad, actually. Let's have a little bit of the old fucking rotation. Not bad. Loses a lot of height, though. Mm -hmm. 
And then you're out of singes. Good luck at killing anything after that. Woo! Is it a boat? Is it a plane? No, it's a defender. Oh shit! It is a boat! It's a speedboat chat. Oh my god! Finally, I actually might have something that can test this. Oh yeah. Alright chat, all we have to do is hold the heading, right? Cruise control on. Oh, it's taking off. God damn it. It, it, it aquaplanes. Alright. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Shh, 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 That's it, that's it, that's it. Alright. Nice. There we go. Right, we just need like there for a split second. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh, dude, I hope they sell us boats. I hope there's places you can't fly and you can get a fucking boat. Uh, biggest ship that I've got. Oh, see, I, I don't have Carrick level. I, I'm, I heard the Carrick is actually pretty fast. 600 I is like a fucking whale. We should be able to get a good meme from this one, actually. I read the threads where people are like, Oh my god, it's so slow in atmosphere. When I go into nav mode, I can't go any further. You don't go into nav mode in big ships. When you're, when you're in atmosphere. You just don't go into atmosphere. Like, with big ships in general. Has the same nav speed as a hammerhead. Yeah, but in atmosphere, you just don't lose your tank. Just be nice and slow. It literally took me what? To go from 3, 4k height, it took me a few fucking seconds. People are just in such a rush for some reason. This thing fucking will hurt if it hits you at the front though. I think Redeemer is going to be one of the best sort of like little ships, main ships. Yeah, let's have a look chat. Oh, yes. All right, we need the shallow because th we can't go speedboating in this area. It's too shallow for the 600 I. All right, let's get our little scanner out. Okay, preparing. Oh shit. Wait, does this thing just sit in the water? <laughs> oh god. Alright, we need a deeper pool! We need a deeper pool, chat. Maybe this will do. What's under here? Oh shit! This is super shallow! I need a- I need a big- big pool. I need somebody to tell me where is deep. This looks deep, right? That looks deep. I can't see the fucking bottom, give or take. Alright, we're going down. Down periscope. Oh god, that's really shallow. Fuck me. Brrrr. I need deep water! It's also not liking what I'm trying to do. Alright, we're just gonna have to go here, I guess. This'll do. Oh, this is... Okay. For the meme, this will do, chat. Alright, we're a bit lined up here. Alright, that shouldn't drift us too much. <laughs> it's just going off. That's kind of cool. Look at the wave underneath. I was like, kind of expecting a little bit more.
Power slide that bitch. Oh, that's looking good. That's good. There, look. At one point, the water was like... Really choking up. Yeah, this thing's actually pretty dope for uh, flying on the water. See, if I had somebody who could camera shot it, I could fucking fly it under. Alright. Darn Periscope! Oh shit. Oh, that's weird. It totally does not feel that shallow from this angle. Chat! It's one of those TikToks! It's... We're starting! <laughs> that's actually pretty cool. That effect is actually pretty dope. With, like, the wave coming in and stuff. Just the tip, yeah. Does the water glitch through the ship? Yeah, it does. But, again, I'm looking at it from, like... Under the sea. Like, if your ship was... See, I think ships shouldn't explode when they go underwater. You should have to get, like, fight through this sort of... This looks dope, actually. You know what I mean? If, like, the glass was smashed... This does look good. This looks really, really good. Where's the guns now? Oh, that's looking so much better. That is so much better. You have a gun underwater? I don't, yeah, I don't think. Sorry. Of... Holy shit. Makes no sense with the laser gun, but all right. Yeah, I don't have another one, sadly. Step charge. Good man. Kind of wish they float. Dolphin dive. <laughs> Yeah, the water with the gun. What the fuck? I'm not that fat. No, it's not me. It just self rised for some reason. Is it floating? I don't think it is. I'm going to go and check. Just been hit with a new EPTU patch? Is there? There's, there's no way there's a patch coming out at this time. No way. Oh, man. Oh, wait. Oh, no. It kind of glitches a little bit. Oh shit! Oh well. Now I've got the whole ocean. We <laughs> I hope nobody's got one of those uh what's that shit about deep water and like shadows and shit? Look away if you've got that, I'm sorry, in advance. I remember what that, that fear is called, of deep water and shit. Oh my god. I'm transcending into Narnia. Under the sea floor? No, there's something where people are scared of dark water. Um, I can't remember what it's called. But now it's clear if I look here. Hydrophobia or something like that. It's, it's deep water and shadows and stuff like that in the water. 
People don't like that stuff. I had the phobia, the one where you think you've got holes in your hands and shit like that. Like, you don't like that kind of stuff. Yeah, there's one where it's like about deep water and shadows in the water. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you, Roadrunner. That's it. Yeah. And it's like the one where there's like... Cthulhu and big figures and big sharks in the water as well. There's one of those sort of fears. Um, who was it that was wanting to know the razor? I think I've got a razor I could use. Should I saw one here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Razor. Let's try this. Oh, this is actually pretty decent. 270, that's the fastest yet. Oh yeah, this... Ooh, shit. This thing is fast as fuck for Atmo. It's a good 30 ms on the arrow. Nose is painting up though. You gotta sweep the nose round. Makes a little like high pitch squeak though. Oh shit! I was actually quite near or shallow. Oh wait, no, it's just re wow. That's fucking cool. Yeah, we need like we need. Right, hear me out, chat. We need derelict sites that are in deep ocean that we have to use a boat to get to. Because maybe there's like a reason why they crashed into the water or something like that. I would be totally down for boats. But they need to stop it where you can just hover like here in the ship, right? The LX next? I think I've got an LX, I don't know. Let's go into nav mode with it. Let's see how fast this goes. So the Gladius does Mac 1 in nav mode. Holy shit. Okay, I'm not even after burning. This is doing 500. What the fuck? 450 without even after burning. Holy shit, this thing is fast as fuck in hard atmosphere. Let's see what we top out on. 500? Oh wait, it's pushing 600. 575. 590? I can't hold it because it's kind of wobbled too much, but... Yeah, 530. That is insanely fast. For, for atmosphere, or hard atmosphere. That's the fastest yet I've seen. Peter Pan! Really wish they wouldn't make it just instantly kill you. Um, I'm gonna have to rent some stuff, chat. You're wanting the LX. I should be able to afford the LX, right? Can I test the 350 if I've got it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me just get some ships rented out. Uh, we're doing... What's under again? Mirai. Um, Alex. 24k. We can get that. Good. Alright, we got a Mirai. There's no point testing on the other ones. And you're wanting a 350. I think I got a 350, All right? Oh no, it's the subscriber stuff. Hmm, how much is it gonna cost me to rent uh, a 
350. You're in luck. You're in luck. It's not one of these crazy expensive things people ask me to fly. All right, we'll do 350 first. And then we'll do Mirai. Yeah, but if it's just a little a bit faster, then it's just gonna be a bit faster. That's already ridiculously fast. For uh, an Atmos ship. Alright, Origin! We are pushing 255, so it's 20 over the arrow. And just short of 450 in the dive. Let's see what happens when we level off. So definitely faster than Arrow. Nice and smooth flight as well. I should also bring up um, this one. So you can actually see just in case somebody actually wants it. Let's do a push. Nose is a little heavy. 400, 12, 13. I could probably push it to 4, 13. Activate the nav. Twenty over the Gladius, thirty over the Gladius. Three seventy, respectable. Could probably push four hundred if we had more room, less wiggle. Let's see with the burner kicked in. And we are pushing by four sixty. So not as fast as the Razor, but again, Razor can't carry multiple people, right? That's the way I look at it. Not bad. Still faster than Gladius and Arrow, which means it could escape. But they are paper thin, right? It's also torqued. Whee! For a minute there, I thought it was just fucking going to slide across. Right, let's look at uh, the... Oh, what's on there? Hmm. Oh, wait, did I not? Oh, did I actually not get it? No, I'm on the... The fast one. Actually, let's quickly look at the Fury just now. Oh, yeah, this is fucking. In a straight, this is arrow fodder, like. Good speed in the forward, though. Yeah, the moment you come out of Afterburner, this thing is cannon fodder. If it's only good in space, then I'm fine with that, to be fair. Bad UI's kicking in again. You know the Tamburino, if you're the, in there, the test that we did, Furai versus the Gladius? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Gladius would win in Atmosphere against this thing. Just purely because the moment you let go of Afterburner, how slow it is. We can try. Again, it's just, it's not doing anything more like special because it can't keep the speed 
Because the Gladius will just do this. The Gladius is so fast at rolling over in the pitch. I actually generally think this is slower in the pitch roll. Does it just breathe water and it dies? Would have thought we'd had a little bit more fucking space. Because Gladius is pushing. So that was doing 231. So it's basically Arrow. This is doing 221 in the dive. And it's got way more afterburner, the Gladius. Let's see here, because now we're 10 meters a second. Kind of jazz. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. Look at that. But the one thing that the Gladius has, so we're going to do like horizontal push there. So the Fury is about 10, 20 more. But the thing is though, this thing it just dominates by going. Obviously you're black out. Ah, like trying to keep behind a Gladius, I don't know how easy it would be. Yeah, see this cuts really sharp corners. Gladius feels so good. Like, when they change some of the stuff, Gladius, I think, is going to be one of the top light fighters to use. I would actually use it over the Buccaneer, just because of how, like, the Buccaneer really doesn't get an advantage of speed. This thing just has a much better turn profile. Look, I mean, shifting the weight around like that. Really fucking good. And if anybody wants to see, like, what... Oh, yeah, actually, I can just load it from here. Oh, it's nice to see that CIG have actually got it working in atmosphere. The thing. If anybody wants to see your extent of your fucking... Uh, lightning, by the way. This is what you've got to go with, right? Obviously, we don't have sounds. There we go. So... Look at that lovely 205. That's, that's good. And when you afterburn now, that we 350. So again, it's got a decent dive. But wait till this, like. So if the Gladius gets behind you, watch. <laughs> afterburner, full pitch turn. Yeah. All right, Gladius. I'm coming for you, Gladius. <laughs> and it's fucking falling out the sky because it doesn't have the speed. <laughs> we don't even have the stall mechanic in yet, which is so good. Yeah, fuck your F8s in atmosphere. You're so fucking screwed. I would actually probably prefer a Vanguard than this. Hey, Cell, how you doing, mums? Welcome in as well. Aelin. Man, this thing is just so slow. It can take a beating, though. Can take a beating. Or is it... Uh, it's only Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, I suppose it is, yeah. Alright. Oh, man. I can't wait to play with uh, live heavy atmosphere. It's going to be juicy. I think Hurston is going to be one of the best places to PvP. Or these new locations. See, all these big new locations are not on moons, by the way, chat. They're all on, like, Hurston, Dave, um, Microtech and stuff. Um, what was the other thing we're going to... Oh, yeah, 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 we need to rent the... No, we need to rent Murai, because I don't have it. What about M50? <sighs> See, the thing is, I could use it if I was in the verse with my referrals, but I don't get that stuff 
on uh, PTU. And the thing is, I'm running out of uh, the ability to rent. I got 157. We need to get the... Um, this... We're going to test out. Right. Why is that not renting? Maybe we can't test the LX. Uh, sorry, the um, this uh, is not letting me rent. Yeah, I can't rent it, chap. Uh, I can do the M50 though, as long as it's not too expensive. Ooh, 44k. A bargain, chat. A bargain. Right, I can't test out the LX, sorry. It will not let me purchase. Okay. Have they improved the frame rate on Hurston? Uh, the only problem with Hurston is the water. And since we're getting a whole new water engine, I don't know. I can go into... After the, this testing, we can go into the verse and I can go and check it out. I'm down for that. I'm sort of near the end of all the ships. I don't have a Herald. 279, this is actually probably the fastest. Also sounds pretty beefy. This thing turns like a bucket though, holy shit. But I mean, we are nearly pushing 400 in the turn. Alright, this thing fucking rockets like. However, it just doesn't turn. Razor was slower, but it's turning better. This thing is nearly at the Razor speed without being in nav mode. But any like bad movement and it's planing. Like see here, it's just like, nose up. Let's bring it around into nav. This thing is rapid, absolutely rapid. Is it doing 400? It's nearly doing 400 in the straight. Holy shit. Where is the... How much afterburner does this thing have? What the fuck? Shit! If you want an escape vehicle, a fucking M50 will do it. That's insane how much afterburner it has. It's like three times the razor. It's regenning slow though. You broke the game? That yeah, happens. That's insane. That is an insane amount of afterburner push. 
Okay, that could have been really bad. That could have been like, oh, look, there's a duck. Yeah, not bad. The question is, how fast does this thing get up to 10k? Holy shit! On one blap? I didn't even have full fucking AB either. This is an insane piece of kit. I would love to know what the Herald is like, and if this is this fast. 25k? 26? We're at 144.50? Are we doing 144.50? 450? Yeah, 1450. Motherfucker, this thing is just gone. Most ships wouldn't even be a quarter of this height before the simulator kills them. Shit. If you ever want to scout, use an M50. Nothing's fucking catching that shit apart from missile. Why is that shit shaking but not the degree ladder? Because the UI is just not worked on Mojo, that's why. Oh, a good, good way to get back to the parent ship? That's fast. That is really, really fast. I'm curious to see now what the, um, the Razor can do in comparison. So let's give it a fair down we go into nav. Dump valve going. Alright, let's give it a little bit of a run up whilst we do this. Can't really see the alt meter though, sadly. So the same top end speed. That very two. This actually might win. Maybe I gave it too much of a run up. What did we get to in the M50? We're doing like 55, 56. They might actually be the same. It might be just one is initially faster in the the beginning. Still 50 plus K up on one tank and then a drift. Let's look at the Mustang Omega because this is going to be fast, right? Welcome. Your journey begins now. This is going to be fast. Look at this 224. Wow, what a great racing ship. Woo! How's the new patch? It's a lot better than the other patch. Yo, Liberty. 30 months. Appreciate that, dude. Alright. How high will the Mustang Omega, the Red Devil... How high do you think it will oh, get? Sure. It. Yeah, I got the Omega, yeah, yeah. I got the Lightning, uh, the other one as well. God. Right, here we go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're not in that mode. Let's give it a fair ride. It's so pathetic. Question will be is how fast does the booster regen? Wow, that booster regening is non existent. Alright, Mustang Omega, the best race ship in the game, doesn't even regen its afterburner. 
That's good. Just just what you needed when you're trying to race. This thing's bugged then. Yeah, I can't even use the afterburner. It's broken. I don't have the Herald, sadly. I don't have the Herald. Yeah, th this thing's broken. The moment you drain out the tank, it can't, uh, can't use it. Still a decent height, but wouldn't allow me to regen. Mustangs are so shit, well, I'm pretty sure the Aurora can't go that fucking fast anyway. Mmm. Mm hmm. All right, champ. You know the drill. <laughs> it's free, free falling at one one nine. Oh god, it's faster than a, an arrow right now. It's faster than a razor. It's fat. This is the fastest. <laughs> Holy shit! Is it gonna stop? No way. No. All right. This is the fastest atmosphere <laughs> dropper so far. However. Trying to get to the fucking water is gonna be impossible. Jeez. Oh god. And there's no sound either. There we go. Right, I know water's this way somehow. I wanna see what this does on water. We'll go slow. Since we don't have a shield apparently. Does this thing not have a shield? Does this have nav? Oh, it does have nav mode. All right. You won't be able to use it though. I'm being very gentle on the throttle chat because this is quite, quite a dense fucking forest to navigate. We're nearly there, I think. Uh oh. God. Can you just go through? Nope, you can't go through the trees. Never mind. Oh shit. I was gonna just say, can I just go fast as fuck and fly through it? But no. Nah. Oh, that would actually be kind of cool to test out. It's gonna take us like an hour to try and fucking get there, though. Oh shit, 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 shit. This map is as big as the DayZ map? Yeah. Alright, we're nearly there. Don't worry, chat. All we have to do is go towards this pillar. The sooner I find the water, the sooner we can open it up. We're traveling. This is this is what you this is training. Training day. Denzel Washington. I've been assigned to get this brand new state of the art bike. Oh shit. Maybe not 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 brand new now. A little bit of branches, you know. I can actually let go of my hand, because this thing doesn't require pitch. Oh we're nearly near the work. Come down, come down. We're nearly there, chat. There we are. See look. I'm I'm Inspector fucking Cluso. I can find the way. Willy Fogg. Alright, let's open it up! What have we got here? Let's bring it down low. Let's go. Holy shit! 200? Man, that's actually pretty fast. Holy shit! Go down, lower, 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 lower. I want to go faster. Wow, this. Whoa! Holy shit! But the mouse is not working for some reason. Oh, now it is. 
Oh, that's sick. Oh, it's because it was that view. That's why. Shit, I'm gonna black out in the back of a fucking ski bike. The old meter doesn't know where the fuck I am, though. Oh, wait, wait, I need a. I, I got a perfect song for this, actually, chat. We need a classic. Um, where is the memes? I got it somewhere. Maybe it's in here. I got the memes somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, wait, do I not have it? Yeah. I actually don't have it. Did I lose it? Oh, yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. We got this? Maybe not. Boo! I don't even remember what the name of this song actually would be. Is this it? this. I bet you it's not the right one. No, that isn't the right one. Yeah, that's that's not the right one. No. Shh. What was the song? Alright, it's important to find this. Yeah, where is it? Might have to do it this way. Oh yeah, might have to do it this way. Sadly. No, no. You, you gotta get into the Hulk Hogan move. See if anybody recognizes this one. Anybody recognize this? Thunder in Paradise, yeah, he knows this 80s shit. <laughs> the perfect speedboat song. Oh yeah. This actually feels really good, holy shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the one I was thinking about? Yeah, Hulk Hogan was in it. It was so cheesy. Oh, yeah. 
It was like the Knight Rider of the ocean. <laughs> Holy shit, this is actually really good. Oh, I blacked out. I blacked out, chat! No! Oh, God! <laughs> Too fast, too furious. By a hurricane. Ah, that's lagging, like. You're thunderstruck. Oh, look, it actually does make quite a wake behind it. Man, it's gonna be so good to, like, spot people, like, riding in by the wake from, like, the distance. Because the thing is, though, I'm pretty sure... We should be able to see it, like, from a decent height, I think. That's actually pretty good. It's not stuttering either. But the thing is, we don't need to be in nav mode for it. It can actually come out. It's the same speed. Oh, it doesn't have guns. Did they remove the guns from the Nox? Oh, wait, no, this is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was actually pretty good. Holy shit, this thing's actually pretty fucking rapid. Under the sea. Oh shit, am I bleeding? Oh, I'm bleeding. No! Sharks in the water. Swimming chat, just imagine. Imagine <laughs> I'm swimming. <laughs> Imagination! Using my laser gun to fend off the sharks. That'll be the next thing CIG brings in. Sharks. Yeah, I got fault. Well, there you go. Depth charge grenade works. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Oh, yeah, that's different. Sounds. Right, okay. Uh, I kind of feel like we're done with the testing. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's go and check out Hurston's water to see if that causes stutters anymore. Is that alien water again? It, it must be, yeah. Alright, let's go here. So we'll quickly go and test out this stuff. Mm-hmm. 
I wonder if they'll fix our control system so I can actually use alt buttons. Like, I use a lot of, like, alt and stuff like that. And it doesn't seem to be still working unless... Oh, I'm an idiot, chat. I'm a fucking idiot. No wonder it's not working, it's not fucking here. What is it to go into pre What's it to go into pre precision mode? Fuck, I must have not saved it when I was playing around for it. <laughs> Left alt button two. Uh, Delete that. Let me make sure I save this. That would help, chap. That would have helped. Um, what was it called? Weapon ADS toggle. There we go. Because I don't want to bind it to my joystick. I just want to use mouse keys. So just do that. How's the patch going? It's actually pretty good. Obviously the UIs are still broken. There's still a lot to be done. But it's a lot more stable on servers now. And... Yeah. Like it feels good. Some weapon changes. They're not great. But they're moving in the right direction. Um, a lot of ships feel really good in how they fly. By that, that's about it, really. Everything just seems to be sort of going in the right direction. A lot of people are still crying about master modes, but we've got their money anyway, guys. So if they leave, who cares? Who cares? CIG won't care. CIG will only care about brand new money. Are all ships available or just the handle? Just what you own, sadly. System. It would have been kind of- you got 15 million on EPTU, so you can test it out. And stuff. Um, right, we need- I'm gonna just use the ion chat just purely to get to the Hurston water the fastest. I kind of wanted to test it in other ships, but I really can't be bothered making builds and stuff where I think I'll probably be resetting my whole account tonight when we get a patch to get like more stuff to test because I'm out of uh, thingy bobs. You have to forget how to use to play SC. Exactly, dude. It's it's literally the beginning of a new game and or a better game, and people are just so stubborn in their ways. I'm looking forward to the day Dark Law makes a quitting video. I'm not gonna quit, dude. I'm not a quitter. I've been here from the very beginning. I'll be here when Star Season finishes and fails itself. Again, I will happily go and play DCS. If Star Citizen fails, I'll go and play DCS for my like my final game, and that's it. But to be honest, and hear me out, chat, I've been having a lot of fun going outside and doing more hiking recently. If Star Citizen fails, I'll just probably just get rid of the PCs and go and do other stuff. Get like a fucking camper van and start just traveling around places. Do, 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 do. So it would give me more time anyway, if it fails. Even though I've got plenty of time as it is just now, but you know what I mean. Up, up, run away! 
Well, I look at it. Uh, so I'm 42 this year, Mojo. So say Star Citizen is out and it fails within the next 10 years. That puts me at 52. That's a good time to go and just fucking sit on a beach and chill, right? Thank you. And please visit again. And we need to go to Hurston. Ooh. All right. Interesting. Oh yeah, we can just do Hearst then. There we go. Set destination. Wee! Oh, that was a lot faster. Nice. Obviously, I would like Star Citizen to be successful, but... Oh, wait. Oh! Wait, 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 wait. Is the keybind change for keyboard? Oh. Yeah, to be honest, I'm going to get rid. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, you press. Right, you press fucking left click now. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Gonna have to remember that then. Wait, sorry guys. Didn't realize we have a button change. Yeah, that's kind of cool. That's good. Uh, I might actually make... You know what? I, I like where that's going. I'm gonna make my left click be that instead. That's actually a good play. I like that. So I need that. It's this, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, this this is it. Oh, I can't save it because still fuck. So I just go like this, right? Is that gonna go? Wow! Apart from the screen's going fine. Yeah, yeah, okay, nice. Can't hold B anymore. The keybind stuff are broken massively 90s, so expect it to be fixed over the next couple of weeks. Well, like, you can't even uh, export at times and stuff. The options are very broken right now, guys. You just gotta grin and bear with it a little bit longer. I know it's difficult. Everyone wants everything to be fucking spectacular and all that shit. It's not how life is. I, I did Ambo, like, it took me, like, an hour and a bit, but I actually, for the first time in, like, two years, I freshly did a user folder. So setting up all the settings, and I went through all the controls, and funnily enough, when I redid them in certain areas, I got it where it was actually more practical in the hand. So, obviously, it takes a wee while to get used to, like, different muscle memory. But I would highly recommend people rebind for free 23. Just do a fresh, take the time. There's no rush, you know? And this bad token crap is in the XML. It's still there af uh, after being deleted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There'll be a lot of uh, stuff brought back in.
I'll try and avoid it as much as I can, but I'll also do it when this game goes to like 1.0. I'll just spend the hour, two hours to redo all my settings. Again, it'll save you a lot of mental headache and stuff. Water, water, water. Edmund, Edmund, Edmund. Alright, chat. Ah, no, that's gonna be in the dark. Anybody know where water will be? Oh, wait, we've got the... The new locations at the tippity top of the fucking tower, don't we? Um... What am I looking... Ah, wait, wait, wait. Oh, fair. That would be fine. Maker's Point. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm kind of looking for. Because that's at the tippy top, right? Let's try... Let's try this, right? Makers... Oh, oh. Oh, and then press R. Oh, yeah. Look at that shit! Look at that shit! Oh my god, it just fucking works! Hey Scrap, how you doing? Uh, so I downloaded again and accidentally clicked the tutorial and it set my home place, but my frames are way better, but I still get bad FPS. Mm. Are, are you playing free 22? Or are you playing free 23? 16 times the features, yeah. Oh yeah, look at the lag. So... Yeah... Now, I wonder if it is still the the clouds that's doing it. Yeah, definitely the clouds. Def definitely the clouds. Yeah, 323 is, is having a lot of issues. Or 322, sorry, is having a lot of issues right now. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, so Hurston Water is still not optimized. In Thurston. Uh, no flight. You just uh, get a toggle basically for it, or middle mouse one, if you want. Have they made the... I, I don't want this to sound like it. <laughs> it's just a color, right? But have they made the, uh, the Aries whiter? It kind of looks whiter, does it not? It looks a lot more cleaner than I remember. Alright, see actually the frames are not that bad. Oh no, it's stuttering here. The server might just be stuttering though, right? Also, what the fuck? How is the Ares this fast? Yeah, oh, there's that bug. Yeah. There's definitely some issues with- Oh, look at the splash though, that's pretty cool. There's some issues where when you're in the atmosphere, you just randomly explode. I saw what Free 23 did to scare guns. Yeah, they actually work pretty well. New patch ship was cleaned, yeah. I hope CIG can fix this one. This just rando exploding thing. It is better in ways, Scrapper, but again, like, we are- we're at the- this horrible point in Star Citizen history where they're pulling out all the broken shite stuff to put the new stuff in, which is broken right now. 
Again, people forget what going into 3.0 and going into per, like persistent doing stuff like that had massive weeks of issues and stuff, but everyone forgets, right? So you just need to sort of wait until CIG dial it in. Which could take two weeks to a month, who knows. But yeah, it does feel a lot better than 3.22, but servers are having issues and stuff. Also, why is that marker there? Is that my death marker? So I can't get rid of a death marker anymore. That's a little bit annoying. Does anybody know how to get rid of death markers? Because I'm assuming that is one, right? Spades. F plus alt. Oh. Okay, so they've changed it, right? Because it used to be where you press F and right click. That's zoom. Alt's not bad, actually. I can, I can do with that. I might try and change it. So actions, clear. And how do we do this now? Do we press... It used to be middle mouse button. How do you... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Favorite. That's it. So it's right click for that. Okay, so we do that. And... Oh, wait, did I not choose? Oh, right. Favorite here. Yeah, there. Alright, that makes sense. Yay! Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now I'm gonna actually look into a keybind because I want to just make this F and right click. Uh, so this will be this will be a quick interaction key, right? Yeah, here we are. So I want this to be F and right click. Can we do. Oh. Is that going to do it? No. That is the key, though. Um... If you just made it... F... No. I was kind of hoping that maybe, like, when you looked at something, it would be, uh... What should we make this, then? Personal inner thought? Probably shift F, actually. Grown vehicle in the front. Hold breath. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Oh no, 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 no. Can you not do a key bind? It? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Have they bro- Oh yeah, this is broken, right? So we can't actually key bind it back because yeah, the settings are broken, right? Never mind. Um, however, I can XML this. What do I not use, though? Oh, I actually clicked the wrong one. Fuck. What was this again? Exit? It's like Y, isn't it? Yeah. No, that's on the, what guys. What was? Oh wait, shit, shit. Can I just put it back? Nah, fuck. I didn't catch in time. What is this default button? Exit. 
What's the default on that? Because you can't fucking default uh, a single button, which is annoying. Maybe it has it here. Anybody know? If they're in game just now, I'm looking for under quick keys interaction. What is exit? What was that one before I fucking deleted the wrong one? It was Y, was it? I'm not talking about it is Y. Well, I was lucky guess then. What can we use then? Um Yeah, to be honest, I can just use I. I can just use I because I've got tab now for this. Yeah, I'll just use I. Alright, this this works. Cool. Awesome. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you guys. Yeah, just use I for inner thought. Kind of makes sense. Mm. Servers are not having fun. Also, my character is shaking. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Please yeah, but when you're on your. Would that actually affect. Oh, yeah, you're right. You are right, Undo. I would turn off the engine. I won't. We'll spot a ship and we'll just test it. We will test it. Eventually. Yeah, servers have gone to shit. They were so good yesterday, and now they're just garbage again. Don't need engines when you're having an inner think. That's very true. That is very true. Server Fukert. We'll do this in uh, Arena Commander. Do, 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 do. At least we know that Hurston, uh, Hurston Water is still poorly optimized. Still poorly optimized. I'm going to do free flight. Yeah, I'm going to do free flight. Um, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Is that a location where I can test this out? Ooh! All right. Let's have a look to see. Oh, you are right. Yeah, shit. <sighs> Damn. Ah, oh, man, that was going to be good as well yeah that's that's too dangerous to have it no don't target and shoot me guys go, 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 leave me alone leave me alone uh, what about C what does C do uh, let's do couple I wouldn't really need that baby and uh, what's V Scanning seats, toggle operator mode. Man. I can't, I really want to make it shift F. But also I'm like, what's middle mouse button? Inner focus, right. Operator mode, toggle. What if I did this? This is my prone button. No, that wouldn't work. What's this? 
that's melee. Um, what happens if I do that? No. All right, that's all the most buttons <laughs> used up. Um, what about this? No. This button? Oh, I don't use this. Oh, all right. Okay, we can get away with just using this then. Nice. Okay. Still can't get remove marker in the ship though, which is annoying. All right, that's fine. I could probably set this up as a, a mouse keybind then. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Um, so when we do this, oh, I could actually get rid of that now. Hmm, maybe. I got reshade left and right. This actually doesn't do anything. Yeah, we could do this. Ah, come on. There we go. Right, nice. Okay. Nice. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, that's fast. All right, cool. All right. Why is there? Man, that crosshair is super big for this fucking ship. Oh, wow, that's it normally? How fast does this fucking thing go in SDM, though? Jesus, fuck. And what's the nav stay on it? That's not bad, actually. I take it, how, like, is precision mode working for anyone? Or is it just because buttons are disabled? Also, the thing went different there. Oh yeah, there it is. Brother, push close. Yeah, yeah, same, yeah, yeah. Is working? What's the standard button for, is it? Is it right? Because it doesn't seem to be... Do you have to have somebody target to make it work? What's that on there? Yeah, it's not working. Yeah, it doesn't work. Oh, wait. That button automatically changes. Ooh. That is changing the... the weapon system. Yeah. 
But I don't even have it burned. Wait, is that a bug? Because... Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is a bug. Look. So when you, you're in locked, right? When you go into inner thought, it puts it into target mode. See? I literally just have only one keybind for t that. So if I use my joystick to bring it back, and we look away here. Yeah. If you use inner thought in the cockpit, it will put your guns to target mode instead. That is interesting. If I can change that. The question is, is it just purely that system? Let me disable the keybind. Or if it's just the button that's doing it. No, it's the actual fucking system. So going into inner thought in the cockpit changes your weapon system. That's a nasty bug. I would love to report it, but it's not my job. Gonna have to remember that one. I'll put that back to that. What is everyone using for, um, like, precision mode? As a default? Are you just using the default that comes with it? Your controls lock? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of weird shit, right? What I might do here is this, try this. Yeah, it won't go into fucking precision mode. Is it because you don't have gimbal on this thing? Is that it? Oops. Every ship has skin goals. No, it's not working. Going into precision mode does not work. What the fuck? Oh, now it's working. But it's so zoomed in. Or is that... Wow, that's just... Wait, 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 wait. No! The M50 doesn't have precision mode. It doesn't have precision mode. The Gladius does. So some ships don't have precision mode. <gasps> Away! I can see your soul. No, I'm not here to sweat out. I'm here to set up settings. No, go away! Away! I'm trying to think of shit. It's. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the M50 can't use precision mode. I thought it was going fucking crazy, but it's not. This definitely puts it into target mode. I need to... I need a... God damn it. I don't want to create initial council. This is not my fucking memeing job. What the fuck? There's bullets like spraying all over there. Dun, dun, dun. What's Harlock using these days? He's in a Gradius. Ah. 
Alright. I think that's fine, because we've got this. Yeah, so we've got that. So we need to do this. Quickly testing that. They can blow up my ship if they want after this. Precision basically puts you into gimbal mode now. Give or take. Have you worked out how to do your uh, wonderful... There we go. But it's not saved my favorite. Oh, wait, wait, you can't do this? In the, oh, because you're tied to the ship. Never mind. Right. Have you worked out how to do your uh, head tracking turreting on though? Because it doesn't seem to work. What the fuck is going on? Help! Help! <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Abandon ship! I got no controls, chat. Nothing's working. Joystick down. Oh, God. That's an interesting bug. I use the same setting for head tracking gimbals. Does it work, though? That's the question I asked. Or do you say no change for you? Because it's not working, dude. For me. So I'm wondering if I've got something unconfigured. Well, you just have to go to turreting mode, so I've got that, but I, it's not moving with the head, so... I'm gonna go into the options here and see if there was a... There was something I'm sure we had to toggle under general settings to make it where you could use head tracking for it. See, this is why I, I do this stuff in PTU. I go through all my settings to just double check stuff, so when I get to live, I don't have to do any of this. Right, let's go through the options. None of these matter because they're getting taken away shortly. Always on. Turret ESP, mouse input, on average pip, weapon gimbal mode default, oh, use low, oh, oh, that's it, right? Driver is look direction. Wait, manual gimbal mode in the driver is just looking? Really? Yeah, I think this is it. I think this is it. Use locator. All right, let me try this. Mm. Let me change out the ship. I need... I want the arrow, actually. Where's the arrow? Oh, this has still got the meme shredder build. Yeah, this might be it. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, have I got my private arena? What's the button to show the fucking... Oh, wait. What's the fucking leaderboard thing now? Jeez. Done to this. What the fuck is it under now? Like, 
How many times do they want to fucking change things? Scoreboard is one. Is that what they have it? All right. Why was I thinking tab? All right. Okay. So we got our guns there. We go to there. Stay forward. Ha ha! There we go. So it was. It was one setting to get our little shenanigan. There we go. All right. Cool. All right. That's that one sorted out. Ah, right. Next setting. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. And we're good there. Kind of wish they would fix the afterburner zoom. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, I think we're good there. Rex 11. Easy volume, yeah. Oh, yeah, I know what I wanted to do. So we've got camera boost. I'm going to actually put this down to two on here. Because with Toby's new camera boost... I feel like this is a lot better because we don't need to do too crazy. And here. Yeah. Toby's boost is amazing. Four star season. There we go. Yeah. It's a lot smoother. And I get the speed if I move in the actual areas. Alright, nice. Uh oh. It's doing the same thing. Yeah, look, it's doing the same thing. Going back to the menu is a fucking instant kill the game. Ugh! That's frustrating. Get rid of these. Oh, where am I going? Oh yeah, it's down here. Huh? You got a different X for him. Toby is fixed now. It is not only fixed, but it's amazing because they've added in uh, Toby Boost, which is like overclocking for it. Nobody should be having any issues with Toby in Free 23. It's so good. Do we know when Free 23 is coming out? Probably uh, mid-May, I would imagine. Uh, right, so the easiest way to explain it is Toby Boost gets rid of uh, being able to use head tracking and gaze and puts it together, right? The difference is that gaze, as in using your eyes, doesn't move the head. Head tracking only moves it. But what happens is if you look into the top right corner and then move your head, you get full sensitivity. If you move your eyes slightly to the left or the right, like you're tracking somebody, you get a very stable head movement. I can bring it up here and show you because I put a tweet out about this here. And it's been out on like uh, DCS and stuff like that for a while. So again here, this is the easiest way to look into it. I look into the top right corner and I get faster head movement. I look shallow into the corner and I get more precision head movement. If that makes any sense to people, obviously. Further you look away into the screen, faster your head moves. And you can see here. 
By adjusting game uh, gaze dead zone, you can now choose which distance from the center of the screen you look at before the boost starts cutting cruising. So we have like it here where you can do the dead zone. So for me, I have it where the camera boost is only like 0.50 because I don't want it super sensitive. And the dead zone is 25, right? How to get the head tracking gimbal to work? It doesn't work for me. So did you do the setting I did, Kedron, where I changed it to head tracking? And then you're putting yourself into target mode. You'll need a keybind to move your stuff into target mode for it. I'll go for the, the button here. So again, you've got camera boost dead zone, which is basically this, right? By adjusting gaze dead zone, you can choose the distance, blah, 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 blah. Um, Because obviously when you're using it for like DCS, you get uh, this system here. And you can see camera boost. You get more settings in how the actual camera works and stuff like that. I don't need it for DCS because DCS actually has proper head tracking in the game. But yeah, just search up Toby Boost if you want it. Uh, and you're wanting the keybind. So the keybind is going to be under uh, weapons. Uh, let me move myself here. You're going to need uh, the button for uh, this one here. So it would be G. Right? So you want to be able to press this to go from target to, uh, or fix to target mode. And then under game settings, you want to make sure that you have, uh, da -da 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 -da. pilot weapon, manual gimbal mode, default slaving, use look direction. So wherever you turn your head and that will translate to this. Let me just quickly go into offline mode so you can see. It will look like this. So now we've got it set to head track and you can see here you've got lock. And then I've got the ability to go to target, right? Now if you go to target, you can move around the mouse. And you can see here that on the arrow, I can actually use the turret with that way, right? So if we go back to tar uh, fixed, basically both guns are shooting on. If I go to target, you can move it. However, if I now release my head tracking, I can move this. However, it seems to have gone a lot more slower. So I might actually put my settings up. Yeah, that definitely actually- wait, 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 that actually slows down the head tracking. Interesting. Alright, let's tune that up a bit more. I would rather have it a little bit more looser than Having that slow. That's like that. Then we go into target mode. Yeah, that's so much better by that point fifty. So there, that allows you to use turrets. And you still have the ability to shoot forward with the zero. Saves the head movement to the turret, yeah. So if you're in like a super hornet with a turret, you can move the top turret with your head. The circle at the front is your front guns, basically. But even these are pretty gimbaled now because of the changes. So even with your mains, you can shoot down here. Can't shoot over there though. Like it's just in this area for the, the main. 
Only the turret can shoot off to the side in the arrow. And that's the one on the top. You can see how slow it moves, right? There we go. So when we go over across, it resets, right? But you can... Which is pretty cool. Not many people don't know about this. Ondo was like the first person to make a video about it. Like I knew you could do it with mouse. I didn't know you could do it with head until Ondo made a video, which was cool. Alright, let's quickly export this. See if it goes through. Oh shit, it's doing this bug. Ah man, we can't get right. Just in case, I'm gonna do. So I want this. Let's get rid of that now. And then we're gonna go to profiles, default, action maps. And then we are going to take the buttons from here. Since I can't export the file, I'm just going to do it the old school way. I don't think you can turn the head so far back. Yeah, you can turn it all the way to 90 degrees to the side. Now we're going to put that here. Wait, was that actually yeah, the top? Under the mountain modifiers, yeah. Yeah. He's part. Oh, that's very true. It's good if, like, somebody's staying out of your sight and you just quickly toggle it. Jeez. Mouse movement is so slow. And we paste. Now, if we save this, close this. And go to controls, and then we'll rename this this one. Hopefully this works now. I can see the use for it in Atmosphere. Again, it's those little things that just massively help out with knowing what you get in the game for that. Yeah, I can get rid of these now. Okay, and then we do pp-1. Let's just make sure everything is saved. Quantum drive is button four. Nice, nice, nice. All right, Vanguard time. Uh, offline. Now I don't have. What do I have? Maybe the Hoop Elite? Yeah, let's use the Hoop Elite. We're gonna do that. 
Uh, loadout for the Hoop Elite. We're going to Pimp Ride. Pimp Ride! Let's give it the most. I will definitely need to reset. Ah, fuck you. I'll need to reset my client or account for tomorrow after the patch because I'm going to run out of stuff when I have to rebuy it. Because when they do the wipe, you have to. Um, this, ah, man, it's so annoying. This game. There we go. I don't think we need any more than the Maelstrom. They're, I mean, they're pretty fucking chonka anyway. So we got Deadbolt. Um, let's do. Not a ballistic, not distortion, not laser repeater. Wait. Oh yeah, that's that. A laser cannon. That's it. I need four of these. I'm gonna see if we can turn this into a fucking pounder. The Hopolite Pounder. I actually could go for a burger. A burger would be nice. All right. There. I don't have a skin for the, the hornet. No. Also, let's put an Omniske. Omniske. I'm not going to bother with missiles because, well, we're only testing guns. Uh, do, 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 do. There we go. All right. And we don't need to test Gunner. Let's load it. Let's see what this papa is like. The Hoop Elite. Oh, Mouse is gone as well. Swarm. Swarm. It's in the game. Yeah, we're gonna need a few flares for this. So like, save five, six. This thing's a bit of a, a truck. Warning. There Warning. are multiple hostiles inbound. All right, let's see what this thing does and what our range is with it. I think we'll go for a little bit of lag. Oh, 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 oh. cross sections are not happy. Holy shit, did that thing just clap through our fucking shields? These things have to be overtuned to fuck, like. Yeah, I'm sorry, CIG. I don't know what you've given these fucking NPCs. Holy shit, do they just fucking melt you? They melt any ship, man. These NPCs are way too overturned. With whatever they're fucking using. Yeah, look at that. Obviously, we're striking down, but our fucking two shields is gone. So fast. We can ignore that shit. It's this prick that claps like the wind. Shields are coming back now. Also, it just suddenly stopped as well, which is... I think these things are just overtuned to shit. That is nice damage, though, I have to say. Again, versing the fucking crazy NPC. Yeah, that's nice. Nice bang. Yep, that's a nice bang. So about three or four times more versus a player. But again, you've got 12 fucking shots, man. That is nice. I do like that. We don't have any missiles, though. No, no, it's the shields going down, dude. Mojo, the shields going down. 
The guns that, it, that, that those NPCs are using are doing way too much damage on everything. That's not my complaint, is like the, um, you can use a light fighter, it's whatever, man. At the end of the day, my shield didn't go down, and I'm actually able to regain on it. Yeah, if we could do a late one on that. Or attrition, yeah, yeah. Again, I'm using a hoplite for a different thing. I'm not looking for the meta build. I'm looking for that fucking third party slap build. So whilst they're flying around, we're like, ah, oh, right, okay. Alright. as well. So we definitely need a bit more pitch power I think on this. However, still holding. Shields coming back nicely. Yeah, definitely more on that required. Yeah, probably repeaters would be a better option for like dealing with fighters. However, this thing's pretty much fucked now. We blew off its fucking engine. The fucking propane tank. Pretty fucks like when it lands. Shield's still holding, chat. It's still fucking holding. Which is not bad for NPCs. As long as Sig and the AC Bobs don't understand what basic chain, there will be no light of the tunnel. For what? I wonder actually if we can do this, right? Let's try this. Can we actually fucking hit with this? What's the limitation? Oh wow, the limitation is actually pretty good. Weapon velocity feels? Yeah, we need to check the stats on the Vanguard. Like what the Vanguard can fit. They may have not done any work to the guns yet. Is there still lag lead or is this just two dots? It's just I choose two dots. I want to see where both my guns are going to land, Engineer. You can have it where it's one pip if you want. I prefer to see every single pip. Not going to type again and waste the time since 2000. Dude, like... I get it, you're upset about whatever, right? But I don't think you understand what it takes to balance out a game. You can't, you can't just go, oh, fucking, the AC Bobs don't understand the basic tuning. The ship might not even be tuned. The fucking weapons might not even be tuned. That's why you give feedback. You don't just type shit and fucking cry about it. You know? Do something constructive, dude. You spend a shit ton of time being negative about CIG or Starzism, do something about it. Write a fucking post. You know? Well, you seem upset. Right, hacker, yeah. Like, I just don't think they're tuned in. Like, you know what I mean? 
I think the vanguard with a bit more pitch and the weapons actually sorted would actually be in a solid state. I'm gonna try it with the uh, other things. Well, they use admin tools to rage kill me in 2018 and then they move on and ban me. You, you gotta admit though, back then, Mojo, like, the way you voiced things on your stream and stuff, can you actually bl blame anyone, right? You know what I mean, dude? Let's try out this. Because I don't like the other ones. I don't want names in chat because, yeah, 2018 is 2018, dude, right? We have to move on. We have to give solid fucking feedback if we ever want CIG to make anything out of this game. Oh, again, yeah, you can hate on their mindset, dude, but just, you know what I mean? If you're going to do it in my channel, then at least be a bit more, you know. Yeah, yeah, I, I know what you mean. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it, I get it. But I'm at the stage now where I, I've, I've spent years and years ranting about Star Citizen. And it's got us nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. So the best thing to do is trying to give as much decent feedback as possible. Not super negative feedback, but decent feedback. And if they don't listen, then fuck it, we'll find another game. They'll never get anywhere. Oh, did I buy the wrong gun? They'll never get anywhere if they don't listen. Because they generally do not know how to fucking balance this game out to a certain degree. It's not, well, Mojo's not being toxic, dude. It's just, you know what I mean. Why are you on the right instead of the left? I'm not on the right or the left, dude. I'm straight in the fucking middle, where anyone with logical sense would be. I don't pick fucking sides. I am the middle, the one. Alright, that's what I want. Actually, no, we're gonna do that. Oh, you're talking about- oh, here. That's what you're talking about. I thought you were talking about, like, I'm left wing, right wing. Sorry, I apologize. Yeah, sorry. I, I go there when people need to see options. Oh, did I buy way too many? I did. Alright, okay. Tradition 5. Let's see what this book is. I don't give a fuck anymore mindset helps. Yeah, it's a good one, yeah. I Like, I'll play, I'll give my feedback on my stream. It will be logical. And if CIG don't care, that's up to them. I'll, like, I got way more benefit things to do in life than give a shit about a video game anymore. If people are upset with Star Citizen, go and do something else. If you want to try and make it better, get on the issue council reports and be constructive. And at the most, don't be toxic. Don't say shit, just fucking get the job done or go and do something else. That's the best advice right now. Right, let's fucking... No, 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 we can't keep our eyes off these little shitters. Oh, where are they actually? Oh, there they are. There they are. There he is. Nope, that's not it. I don't even care about you. Where are your buddies? This one. That's it there. That's it. Alright, that definitely hit a lot better than the cannons. Ooh, not good enough though. Yeah, pitch. Pitch is really bad right now in the vanguard. Oh, that's nice damage. That is much better. Obviously, aim is massively off. I'm trying to fucking read the screen at the same time. Yeah, pitch. 
Pitch is really bad on the Vanguard. I'm having to use too much afterburner. Too much afterburner to just turn around. We'll need to try and get a hold of Serja. This dude. This dude. Yeah, so that's a little bit off there. Yeah, these weapons are not in a good spot right now. This is definitely a ship that needs to be worked on compared to the others. Slow turn rate. I'm missing a lot of shots anyway, because I'm more trying to do everything at once. Yeah, I'd like... Even if I fucking pitch this up. Hmm, some of the guns actually land. Yeah, I am using way too many resources just for fucking auroras. If you're up against players, you're fucking screwed in this ship. Yeah, that's bad. That's so bad. The thing is though, once you actually like get the guns on, it does a shit ton of damage. It's just getting to that point is non-existent. They go for the ram, they learn from the players. Mm. These ones are just fucking kiting the ship. Yeah, the guns are not hitting. There might be an actual hit ridge with the Vanguard weapons. I think it's only the size 5 that's actually hitting. Yeah. This is crazy. Pips are rolling off. Struggling to even get around on a fucking thing about. Yeah, weapons are screwed on this. When they actually land, they're good. There is something fucking off on these weapons. Heavy fighters are basically tanks for group fights. Nah, the, there is tanking and then there is not being able to out fucking turn an arrow, uh, an Aurora did. Which is literally your shittest fucking piece of shit ship that's only meant to get you going where, you know? I mean, Aurora should kill it. No, it shouldn't. <sighs> Guys, no, please, no, please, no. That makes no sense. A fucking school, uh, a kid's fucking minivan taking you to work, taking on a military fighter? No, it shouldn't, it. Didn't you change from lag to lead just now? Yes, I did, yeah. If you have two dots for firing, doesn't that mean only one weapon will land on the target? No, it doesn't, no. It just means I'm going for the... I have to get both pips on. If you make them... If you make it where it's just one pip, but you've got two speed weapons, it won't work, dude. It just calculates, like, the average and stuff. But I would rather just fucking put both pips on the target if I'm doing that. Yogi is not a scientist, we all know that. Yogi tries his hardest, but he really needs to start fucking asking for help. I get the feeling the Aurora will get a major overhaul to fit in all its components. Might get a little bigger, because I don't think it can fit its components in on its current size. You could have easily killed it if you kited. 
All right, okay. If you keep going in a straight line, turning around, shooting, going in a straight line, turning around, shooting, we will never get ships balanced for their turning abilities, guys. Just to let you know, it's, it's, it's a simple thing, right? If nobody actually tests out its pitch, roll, strafes, all these things, and you just go in a straight line, turn around, shoot, turn around, shoot, turn around, shoot. Might as well just fucking have little horses and a pogo stick, right? Did the F8C get new flight characteristics pass? No. Well, I mean, for free 23, yeah. But it's, it's slow. But it's pitch and roll is better than what the Vanguard is. Did they fix the turret on this thing? It shows the turret. What should we try on this? Um... Hmm, I think we'll try the FLs. Wait, is that one I can use? They have the same profile. Just remember, guys, if an if a ship fight try fight blah, blah. if a ship struggles to fight an NPC that takes nearly half the amount of damage to kill something, it means that a player will fucking skull fuck you in the PU. Just remember that. And you going in a straight line and just turning around and shooting is not a valuable tactic in the game at all. Having everything rotate is so much better. You go in a straight line in a vanguard, you're dead. Because you're not fast. And if something gets behind you, your gunner ain't going to do shit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're only using the NPCs just to see limitations of PvE. That's it. Oh, I didn't change the ship here. Hey, Star Fox. Did anyone contribute feedback in a forum about the master mode that I cannot vote? Uh, there's plenty of threads about it on master modes. Come on, give me Scorpius. And the mouse is gone again. Swarm initiated. Space Robot Space. Alright, so this is a heavy. We'll put it at five. Well, actually, it gets pretty decent. Um, oh no, I don't have a fucking mouse. Uh, shit. Alright, we're gonna have to just fucking free deck it. CIG. Oh no, why? Oh god. God, 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 god. Ugh. Why would you have the fucking comms as the default? Missiles regaining tracking is interesting. Oh wait, I got that on fucking disappearing action. There we go. Pips disappearing behind. Can we actually do conversion here? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, again, I can't see my shields because... Right, there's the mouse. I can't fucking get to the console, man. Ah, CIG! Please fix the fucking mouse controls. And please, for the love of God, on the Scorpius, self status and targeting as primary fucking windows. What knob end needs fucking.
comms. Man, Scorpius actually feels really good. Scorpius feels really, really fucking good. And we're not even playing with a gunner. Yeah, a lot of hit reg issues are shots going through. I really wish I knew what the status of my uh, stuff. Man, with the conversion, like auto aim, basically, shit, Scorpius feels good. Which is good, because this was one of my go to ships that me and Greg would use all the time, so. This could be good. Holy fuck! Propane tank just flew past! Scorpius does feel nice. Flies well. Can't get in the rotation there. It's fine. A little buccaneer. So this kind of feels like how I would have imagined the saber to fly, to be fair. <laughs> the fucking propane gladius. <laughs> yeah, I really wish I knew what my shield status was. Yeah, we're gonna go and test this in PU next. I wanna see what this flies like in- Oh wait, we actually don't. We can go in- We can go in, uh... No, I'll do it in Daymar, actually. I want to test that out. Yeah, this... No joke, I actually really like the way the, the Scorpius is flying. It's not too fast, not too furious. Quite heavy. Good capacitor. Weapons, not 100% fucking hitting all the time, but... With a gunner as well, this would be nice. Nice little fuel base. I do like the sounds of FLs, yeah. We got one more target here. Alright. We also have this. Which actually did hit, funny enough. Alright, let's go to shields. Let's see if we can tank a bit. Lose a huge amount of turning kabit. Since we went to tank. Nice. That one's just drifting away. On there. Wonder how many shots the uh, gunner gets. It's 
distance. Wait, did I get? <laughs> Jesus. God damn it, that ram was so powerful it fucking killed the game. The ram. You think about the mantis every time you hear the FLs? Uh, not really, because I normally strip them off. You know? Definitely right now, need to do some sort of report on the Vanguard. The Vanguard is in a really, really bad space, and I don't want to see that because it's one of the ships that I want to use. Especially the Hopalite. But it's feeling bad. Um, the pitch roll, well, the roll's okay. The pitch is very off, though. Like, the F8 feels so much better. The Scorpius feels so much better, so... Why would you use a Vanguard if you're getting that amount of DPS on them, you know? From the heavy fighter pool, Scorp feels the best? I would say so, yeah. Yeah. Not because of top... The Are you talking about the turret on the Scorpius? Nah, nah. That's not what I'm going on. The F8 feels totally different, though. Even if they've got the same stats, the F8 has, or the Vanguard is feeling off. It does not pitch. Like, it's got an issue with it. So it might be on the same stats. I Again, I never go with stats, guys. Like, a stat page can tell you you're a fucking donkey when you're actually a sheep, right? It just does not feel good. There's something off with this ship. It might just be the Hopalite. But yeah, Scorpius. Oh, well, that's what we're doing. We're doing. I need to quickly test out the Scorpius's Atmo flight. Try the Warden. I don't have a Warden to test, and I don't have enough credit to do it. I would have to reset the account. Not at this time of the day. We're six hours in. Yeah, it's a bug. Yeah, yeah. Apparently in the patch we're getting today, uh, Fal is meant to be back. To so, Industries. just gotta, just gotta deal with it a bit more longer. 218? Ooh, wait a minute. 400? Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Is this going to be the go-to ship? Is it the... The X-Wing we were promised? Oh yeah, the turret's actually not there. Man! Solo Scorpius with a co-pilot? Sounds pretty cool, actually. Just without, like, anyone to, to do anything. What uh, what does it make? And oh shit, we get doubles. All right, that's nice. That's nice. Now, what happens if we fucking Autobots transform? Do we get any more speed? Because this would technically make it go faster. No. Wow, this is actually pretty good. 382? It's that scene from Star Wars. I've not seen the movie. I've just seen the, the fucking clip. They're on the water or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, we don't have the changes. Ooh, oh, oh, shit. All right, she swings out quite heavy. She swings out heavy. Let's see if it's worth even transforming in nav mode. Getting your shields down. Q 
You fucking what? You fucking what? How is this thing moving at interceptor speeds? Holy shit, 518, 520? Oh man, me and Greg are gonna have a lot of fun with this. Oof, listen to that roar. I mean, kind of makes sense for me. Well, again, you're... You're fucking... God knows how many fucking engines on this thing. Alt speed is round about in nav mode 518. This thing is going to be pushing 900 on Daymar then. It turns like a bus, but... Again... I kind of like it with the interceptor speed, it makes sense. Yeah, you can transform, yeah, yeah. Transforming does nothing, by the way, just now, guys. Only when they put in the new control surfaces would that make any difference. So, wings out, you're going to get better control surfaces for turning. Wings in, you're going to be more streamlined. But I don't think they're doing it. In my opinion, only the Astaris should have an interceptor, but the, the thing is those ships are meant to go side by side, right? So the design brief on the Scorpius is that they're meant to be side by side fighting each other. And you've got to remember, it's a giant fucking profile, and if you shoot off a wing and her engine, that's it. It's not exactly a fucking small baby. Wings out in atmosphere, this thing is easy to clap. So I think it should have interceptor forward speed because, again, when you turn, look at it. Gladius can turn that four or five times faster. And we're blacking out trying to do a Gladius turn. So just remember, it's fast in the fucking straight. It can't turn for shit. I'm stalling. Look, I'm stalling. Literally stalling out here. It's that fast going forward that if you keep pushing forward, it stalls out. And this is without control surfaces in. So no, it actually makes sense to me that this thing's fast in the straight. And if you try and push it in the turn, you fuck yourself up. That seems fine to me. Because again, you still can't outrun a missile. And this thing has 15,000 fucking EM and 13,000 fucking cross section. Yeah, good luck trying to dodge a missile in hard atmosphere with this thing. This thing's literally a magnet. And you're still 13, 14. 14, 000. This thing is just missile magnet right now. This is uh, Arena Commander. It's just with the new war stuff. No, it won't get server meshing until probably near the end of this year with Pyro. Server meshing comes with the Pyro stuff, which is 4.0. Which is meant to be at the end of this year. Meant to be, I say. Again, in this state, it's slower than a Gladius. It's only fast in nav mode. So not only can a Gladius Fury outturn this thing, 
It's just fast at zipping away, but a missile will soar that. So I think it should have fast interceptor speed in the straight. Because that's all it is. It's only the straight that this thing excels at. But that means you're losing your shields, your weapons, and your flares to achieve it. Which is pretty suicide, to be honest, in, the, in a team fight. Even by yourself, this would be a bad idea. Whoever thinks 4.0 will come before 2026 20, is mental. Well, we'll see who's mental and who's not. Who fucking cares? This thing ain't turning at speed. It loses a lot of speed just to do a simple pitch turn. You're willing to bet 1k euros? Cool. Amazing. Again, who cares, dude? You know what I mean? You come into my channel, you're like, whoever thinks that is mental, and you're like, I got 1k to fucking spend. Guess what? Nobody in this channel gives a shit, dude. Right? That's cool, you got 1k to bet. And you think people are mental. Awesome stuff. Hear me. Hmm. He's a rocket. It is a rocket, yeah. It's very, very fast in the straight. Compare UE 5 point water simulation to this. Yeah, but again, with uh, Unreal Engine, you can't do massive multiplayer and stuff like that with our, like loading screens. So just remember that, dude, right? Take a water sacrifice for things to actually like work in the long term. Unreal 5, Unreal itself is amazing, but it has very, it's very bad for multiplayer. Until they can work out, I suppose. Yeah, this does feel good. Again, it's not too fast. A missile's gonna scram it absolutely massively. And it does not turn that well. You lose a huge amount of your speed. However, hear me out, chat. I think when you go into nav mode, it should close the wings. And when you come into SEM, it opens the wings. I think that would be really fucking sick. So you go into nav mode, it does this, your weapons are disabled, shields are disabled, you're gonna get the speed. And then literally here, say you're gonna come out of nav mode, you're racing forward. Right? Come out of nav mode. Now you- oh wait, I didn't go into- there you go. Purawala is now following. Yo, thanks, Papa. I think that would be really sick if CIG did that. Because again, you don't need your wings out if your guns are already disabled. And when you close the wings anyway, it disables the guns. So you can't shoot. So it'd be pretty kind of sick. Like, you want to go fast? It would also let people know that when you're putting your wings in, you're going into nav mode. People tend to forget that SC has those effects on plant side scale. Yeah. Again, it's, it's easy to compare video games, right? Also, landing gear with the wings closed would be a, a good thing. Don't uh, don't need wings in QT either. Exactly. So like, it would kind of be kind of like cinematic, but also. It would serve a purpose where you would know somebody's going fast. You could then do the same with a saber and 
the hornet and stuff where their wings close to go fast by disabling their their uh, guns, which is what you've got in nav mode anyway. I didn't trouble man. I think that would be really sick. Because then you see the wings close, you know somebody's either landing or they're going to go fast as fuck. Oh yeah, this thing actually does sit pretty nicely. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the the Scorpius. I would imagine they're gonna nerf it. But if they make a fast version, like the Antares, that might actually be worth it. Just purely for the non-turret version, but you would obviously not have EMP and stuff, so... Yeah, I, I like the Scorpius. It's looking good. It'll be very interesting to see how it actually, like, serves out, basically. Hornet and Saber currently have wings locked to gears, right? Yeah. Yeah. But we do know that every ship that has, like, closable wings will be able to do what the Scorpius does. I remember Yogi saying that, where you'll be able to close your wings without loading the landing gear and stuff like that, right? Which will be kind of cool. Which will be cool. <sighs> Alright, but I'm gonna wait for the- that's the amount of testing that I'm gonna do today. Because I'm gonna wait for the patch tonight, which is meant to fix the TVI. Which will be really good if that's the case, because I do like my TVI. It helps not only in combat, but flying as well as general. I like good stuff. I like good stuff. Anyway, good conversations, guys. Yeah, Vanguard definitely needs to be sorted out. Well, we've already got Bart. There's already a boat in uh, the sitcom video for Squadron 42. You know? Carrick has 208 MS in SEM. Is that with Afterburner or is that just SEM? Oh wait, that is a conversation Tamburino had ages ago. Same with Bart as well. Alright, sorry guys. My chat box here hadn't updated, so that's a long time ago conversation. Yeah, TVI is going to be good when that comes back in. Um, Definitely the FL cannons are sort of in the lead of my favorite weapon. But for the arrow, laser shotguns feels really good for the arrow that close range because again if you stay at range you're dead in an arrow but if you can get up close on somebody there's the skill you blap blap and they're fucking gone right so i kind of like that a tails how you doing hmm they see your swishy tail swish 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 yes i know i need to get dinner i know i know i know we'll need to try out the mark ii tomorrow and stuff. Yeah, what have we learned today? The Vanguard needs a lot of work. Some weapons are not landing shots. I don't think tarantulas are landing shots. I think it's like the old stuff that me and Fresh used to talk about where it, it doesn't feel like it's hitting or connecting. But that's the same with the Vanguard weapons. I don't think they're hitting as well. So I think CIG needs to speed the size 2 cannons up to be the same as size 5. They need to be the same. Because the repeaters are the same, obviously. But the, the cannons, the laser cannons on the Vanguard are super slow. Really fucking slow. So it's missing a lot of shots because of that. Just wait for the stealth version of the arrow. Hey dude, they can remove the top turret and make it a stealth version and it would be a lot of fun. 
it wouldn't have much damage and it's still like a one shot, you know. They can do many, many things. Many, many things. Many, many things. But yeah, awesome stuff. We will do more testing tomorrow with the patch. Um, and I need to try and speak to CIG about two things. If you use the inner thought in the cockpit, it puts your guns from fixed to target mode. For some reason. And the Vanguard's pitch does not feel the same as the F8. They might be the same on stats, but it doesn't feel the same. You want underwater bu uh, bases? Yeah, I, I, I could actually go for that. With how water is looking and sounding underneath it, I'm totally cool if CIG wants to do submarines and shit like that. I Like, just make it where when you're in the water, it looks like the EVA. You gotta just kick your legs or something, or make a little fucking backpack or something. It just looks really janky when you're walking at the bottom of the water all the time. I have a feeling CIG will go that route, though. Alright. There's nothing else I need to follow up on? Hopefully I'll be able to rent the LX as well. Yeah, I think we're good. Anyway, thanks guys for the raid, the follows, the resubs today. We will be back tomorrow. Uh, possibly off on Saturday, Sunday. If the weather is good, I'm going to take Saturday, Sunday, possibly Monday off and get Nova on his camping trip that you guys last year helped support. Um, so he can go and spend the evening in the wild. Um, again, whilst we're in PT, you might as well use that time and all that jazz. Um... Who have we got online? Uh, 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 there we go, Galafir. Let's go to Galafir Games, guys. But first, oh, he's taking a break. Shit. Well, poop. Well, poop. Um. Crapper. Anyway, let's roll it for today. Is it gonna roll? Sell, cheeky sell, cashing in on those dailies. Who's also at the tippity fucking top? Who is the top of the leaderboard? Pagan, Pagan and Ondo still hold it. Oh shit! Sells now in the third spot. Sideways with four. Danister in five. Dark Claws dropped to six. Holy crap. We've got some strong contenders pushing for the tippity top spot. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Remember, that's EOM at the end of the month. I don't know what we're doing, honestly. Oh, wait. Mm. I might know, actually. It's Tuesday, but that's already over, Ondo. Sadly. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that's what Cell just wanted. All right, let's get the raids in. Yeah, thanks for all the uh, challenges as well, guys. Let's drop the love over to Galafir. Awesome dude. And yeah, we'll be back tomorrow for more testing and all that good stuff. Appreciate it as always. Thank you very much to all the tier two, tier three people above. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much. And enjoy Galafir's stream. Thank you for being here, guys. Dancer, take care. Denny, Glitch, Undo, Cell, Test Battle, Harry Luft, Hyperlight Drifter, 07, you guys, 90s, take care. Marcus, Dark Master, Lady Space Patrol, Fitton, Fighting. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Liberty. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a good weekend. Oh, no, no fuck. It's not even the weekend. Shit. It's not even the weekend, chat. It's only Tuesday. Have a good week if I don't get to see it. It's what I should really say. Drop all the love. Justin, take care, guys. Thank you!